Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Reality Kingdom, where we talk all things reality TV or whatever. Per. Per. I am your host, Pearl. <laughs> we are joined by our wonderful co-host, Lee. Lee, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Once again, the mole continues to eat it up episode after episode. I mean, like, literally, I was like, we had to binge the, the two through five today because we're procrastinators, no shade. And they were a breeze to get through. Like, Netflix then struck gold. Like, this is good. Is they ate. They really, they really, really, really ate the fuck Like, down. I'm tuned it's in. It's a great show. And I remember it being so good, but, mm -hmm. girl, it's good. It's, it's a, a good concept. cast. These bitches, they are messy. They are so These messy. Messy. See? Let's see. After all of that surgery. You um, that today, is as, <laughs> as you see today, we will be covering the mole episodes two through five. It's gonna be a long one. Get your cups. Long one. Get your cups. All get these your wine. <laughs> sure. Get your wine. Get your cups. If get you your blizzy. To. Get a little. Huh. Go ahead and do that because we will be here. Get your pumpkin promises, promises. All day. I'm looking to look. I and you know, don't feel like you need to watch the whole thing. You know, go to your favorite section. Go to your favorite part. You know, you don't have to sit around. Just give us that view and that like and that and share comment. and that subscribe and that comment. Per the fuck? Let's get into this motherfucking shit or whatever. Per we just need to get into it so we can get done. So we start off episode two with a cliffy, cliffy. Um, you know, because, Netflix love a good cliffhanger, child. And I don't know why. I just us because they want to binge it and binge it and binge it. It's a, it's they, a mind game. They live for that because it's cute because they it's so cute how they film the, the Netflix reality shows as like scripted shows in a way. Like it's like so it's not like the it doesn't give that reality show feel. It, it could give scripted and then when you throw in the goddamn cliffhangers it's like mm -hmm. okay with the dramatics. I definitely mm -hmm. skip to the next episode to see what the fuck is going on. Like you're not gonna <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't play me. So we start off this episode and Will Joy and Ose girl this rich bitch energy. I'm just thinking, like, <laughs> the people who have been eliminated versus where we're at when we're starting. Go, that, Will, bro, I heard I'll say, I'll say. Literally. <laughs> at say. At this point, is Will, jo Joy, and Osei up for elimination? And we Ooh. are we are seeing if Joy is safe. Queen Joy. Shout out to Joy. Mother Joy. Put some respect on Joy's name. This is a, this is a Joy Stan account. I will Period. always respect a black woman pilot. Period. Period. So we find out that Joy is safe and she's so good. And honestly, with the other two, I did not care. But Ose is eliminated. Now, yeah, once it got down to Ose and we, I was like, Ose gone. Because honestly, he probably, because, you know, if you remember all those episodes ago, child, mm -hmm. um, he was partnered with Joy in the uh, first challenge. So mm -hmm. he saw her direct them all the way around to where they needed to go. So he, mm -hmm. I feel like he probably went in there and was like, mm, Joy, okay, uh, brown hair, okay, Joy, female, Joy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> does, she, does she have any pets? Joy. Joy. Um, And this is when we get to my favorite part of the episode. Alex escorts them <laughs> down the walk of shame. I call it the walk of shame, It really is. They, 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 she escorts them off the walk of shame to the Uber. To the designated Uber of the day. <laughs> and, and it's so, like, please. Well, I was saying, how do you feel like you did in the game? <laughs> <laughs> and they slowly walk to his Uber, bitch. And it's so Literally. funny. And she's got her hand on his back as she's escorting him out. <laughs> You did, and like, you did do but good. the thing is, he literally hops into like a, a Nissan set. I don't know what it was. Like, y'all ain't got the black trucks, the black trucks. Look at more official. Like, he had this regular Uber in the front. It literally looks like they <laughs> dialed Uber. I <laughs> had this woman waiting. Where did oh, she take God. him? Really? Really, though? <laughs> Girl, so Ose is out and Joy is still in. Mm -hmm. So, after this, we see that Dom says that the quiz had a lot of questions that he was not necessarily expecting. Mm -hmm. So, it kind of took him aback. So, he has to, like, learn a little bit more information about the people because they was asking just anything. What color dog? Like, are Girl. they married? Do they have kids? I definitely would not know that about all these people in the span of a day or so. Oh, at I all. wouldn't even be asking. <laughs> I wouldn't think to ask. I don't care about these people. <laughs> Literally. So Will says that he can't see his quiz results, so he doesn't know whether he did great, good, horrible, or bad. Mm -hmm. And that would be annoying to me because it's like, damn, I could have just answered everything wrong, or I could have answered everything right. 
and I would not know. This is when Greg gets a diary room, and y'all, Greg is just the most hilarious person. <laughs> he's like, oh, I just loved him so much as a friend. Talking about Osei. Friend? I don't know. Maybe it's some Do you know him? Scene. No, the it only, was literally one night. The only interaction we saw was Osei being like, are you going to get up and, and do something? And he was literally. like, I'm going to get up and down. <laughs> literally. Greg is hilarious. Quite literally funny as fuck. So <laughs> their next location is Brisbane, and they just do a lot of traveling. So they, yeah. um, they do it's a given lot an amazing of race. It is. So they travel to Brisbane, um, and they're stuffed in these cars, like quite literally stuffed. Um, I think Joy is between two big men. And yeah, she was like, she got in between Will and Jacob. She was like, ooh, y'all so big. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, ooh. So Joy says it's kind of a weird dynamic trying to have to work with the people and then also trying to figure out who's the mole mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, we hear a Greg die room. Greg is like that. Um, his strategy is to not lie. And he's telling this, it wasn't a die room, he's telling this to the people in his car. Mm-hmm. And Cassie they were like, Sandy. yes, and they were like, girl, you don't lie. And he was like, ah! And they was like, girl, you hesitated. <laughs> You've been lying. Definitely. Been. I, I really, like, I think, I honestly think Greg, Greg is just being himself. Like, at first I was trying to figure out mm-hmm. what is his strategy, but at this point, he is really just doing whatever the fuck he wants. That's what, that's what he gives me. Mm-hmm. Literally. So we get a conversation about Pranav and Avery. This is when Avery has a diary room and she mentions that she fully trusts Pranav. She says she does not think Pranav is the mole and essentially they have them a cutesy little alliance going a little on. Final two? I, I, I called it a final two in my notes, but I was like, a I guess you can't two. really do a final two in, my, in the mole. <laughs> a little alliance that they have going on. So um, that's really cute. It was interesting because I don't really know how alliances work with the mole. I'm like, is this going to work or mm-hmm. what? But because you can literally be in an alliance with the mole. With the literal mole. Mind you, they both seem pretty shady. So No, literally, I don't know what they're talking about. I can trust them so much, and I just feel like the information they're giving me is great. I didn't necessarily see it, Mm-mm. but um, we, move. we move, child. So after this, they pull up to a prison. And at the prison, they walk up, they get out of the cars, they walk up to a gate, and they see Alex is on the other side of the gate. And she explains the competition from the other side of the gate. Um, (laughs) So she explains, um, it's very much so Amazing Race style, because she's like, we are in the location of Bruce Bain's most notorious (laughs) prison. And what happens here stays here. And it's like, okay, queen. (laughs) So the first thing they have to do is they have to decide the two players they want to designate as masterminds. And this is when I will start pulling stuff up. So if you are a visual learner um, and you don't just want to listen to the audio, make sure you hop on to our YouTube channel because we have the people on the screen so that we can make this a little simpler for you. If you're listening, girl, I mean, pull up the YouTube channel on your TV while you do your laundry. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, you know, keep them as best you can, child. We here for you. Or can you keep up? So they Everybody have to designate. <laughs> they have to designate two masterminds mm-hmm. to. To basically take control of the mission. And Pranav says uh, they have to to choose two people who are actually going to be able to use their wit. Because clearly they're going to have a lot of control with this challenge or whatever. And this is when Kasi has a diary room. And she says she actually wants to choose the people she trusts the least. Because she wants to figure out if one of them might be the mole. Mm -hmm. um, Or whatever. So, I mean, we'll see. (laughs) This is when... (laughs) What? <laughs> it's when they gag uh, Avery and Pranav. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, somebody randomly, I didn't, I didn't catch who it was. They like, didn't say who it was. And they was like, hey. um, Avery and Pranav. And then they laughed. Everybody laughed. They laughed in their face. It's like, you said trustworthy, right? <laughs> <laughs> so clearly, Avery and Pranav are the only people who think Avery and Pranav are trustworthy, at least at this point. It's like, why did everyone have them clocked? Like, day? <laughs> Literally. We um, just found out about this alliance, and now everyone has them clocked and don't think they trustworthy. <laughs> literally. So this is when Joy is like, um, I vote Dom. Daddy mm-hmm. Dom, in fact. As and she should. I mean, I would also vote a man. As she should, and Kasi, Kasi seconds that, and so does Pranav. Oh, that's like, terrible. I would also vote a man. I meant Dom is a man, and I would vote him because mm-hmm. he is a man. I knew what you meant. I knew what I you was meant. just thinking about it in my head. I was like, no, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> so Joy, Joy says she does tr- trust Dom. She doesn't think Dom is the uh, mole. A lot of people do not think Dom is the mole at this point. They mm-hmm. think Dom is a good guy. Because, like... Uh, Dom, I feel like Dom has definitely proved he is not the mole. He be getting mm-hmm. 
angry, okay? Mm-hmm. And when people fuck up, and then he always is going the hardest. Like he, like he, it just didn't give Mo. It really did not. It did not. And this is when we see Pranav. He has a diary room, and he's like, Joy nominating Dom so fast gives Mo because you nominating somebody makes it seem like you don't want to get nominated and you don't want to get caught. But we move. I just, people, I mean, I, I do get it. We we trying to figure it out. But sometimes people just be saying anything. I, this I, one didn't make sense to me. I wouldn't have read uh, that much into that. I don't know. Like, it quite literally should be Dom. Like, you literally <laughs> voted. You also voted Dom, but we moved. That's the thing. It probably moved. should not have been Dom, because Dom was doing a lot. The second person they voted was Casey. Now, me personally, I feel like Casey is the mole. I feel like Casey was the mole here. I feel mm. like Casey was the mole episode one. I still feel like Casey's the mole. So, um, when they voted Casey, I was like, okay, I guess. Um, mm-hmm. But they trust her. They do. Yeah, I thought the Casey, I thought the Casey choice was pretty random. It was, but um, this is when we start seeing Casey have fifty million dining rooms about how she just um gets to know everybody and everybody yeah. loves me and I just love getting to know them and I need to a know lo- them. A lot of a lot of her diary rooms are kind of about that, like getting to know the guys and knowing mm-hmm. what they know. But <gasps> it is giving mo. It gives mo. I I felt it. I, I feel like it. if it's not you Casey, it first. my my mo choice is Kasi. I think it's Kasi. We'll get into it later. Kasi <laughs> uh, is so shady. Like I, she just she, she gotta be her a little I, bit. Because I just see. I, I'll explain. I'll explain. There's a lot of points where she's. It's like, what are you doing? So we get to know the mission. So now we know that Casey and Dom are going to be the two masterminds. The mission is a jailbreak. So Dom and Casey have to divide the other players into three groups of three. These players will be separated into three different cell blocks, cell block D, cell block E, and cell block F, of course. Mm-hmm. And their goal is to be is going to be to escape this prison. Mm-hmm. So they decide on cell block D being Greg, Kasi, and Joy. Dom says he put them all together because they are all shady and he doesn't really trust them. Mm-hmm. So he's he's saying that if they don't complete the mission, it kind of confirms his idea that one of them might be the mole. Um, they choose the other two cell blocks because they just feel like the other two cell blocks will be able to get this shit done. So mm-hmm. cell block E is going to be Will, Avery, and Tamara. And cell block F is going to be Jacob, Sandy, and Pranav. And one thing about Greg and Joy, they never going to beat the Mo allegations. They, they never like they not beat the Mo allegations God at all. Damn. The funny thing is, I, do, I don't think... I don't think Greg is trying. I don't think Joy want to be seen as the Mo. She just... Mm-hmm. She, she just, just gives more. <laughs> I love Joy. Everything she does, though, is so bad. <laughs> I love it. She's so chaotic. So, so if all three groups escape, mm-hmm. they get ten thousand dollars. If one doesn't escape, they don't get sh- shit. She's naive. At ill. At, at ill. At all. <laughs> so um, this is when they put them into identical cell blocks. Um. The three people in that cell block are going to be in three different cells. So they're all separated into three different cells. And those three different cells are identical to cell block F and cell block E. So everyone has the same exact challenge. Mm -hmm. Um, Period. So we start off. Oh, so what they have to do is they have to find the keys um, using the shit that's in the room of each of the cells. And they have to get the fuck out. Mm-hmm. So we start it's off. really like it, it really is like escape room times 10. And then mm-hmm. I really started realizing, ooh, would I be figuring this shit out? Like, uh, now like I was like, oh, like... I can do them all. The guy is, it really don't matter because it's like if I fuck up, they just gonna be like, oh, he's the mole. And it's like, I'm mm-hmm. not, y'all. I just suck. But <laughs> we moved. <laughs> Honestly, I would love to play. Just mm-hmm. so I can suck and have to be like, you're the mole. I'm like, <laughs> No, I'm not. What if, what if you're the actual mole and then now you got to do good? Or well, I don't want to accept the mole bro. I probably can say no to being the mole. I guess you could say no to being a mole. Mm-hmm. Hey, you, okay, so know. we start off in cell block D. <laughs> cell block D is Greg, Kasi, and Joy, the flop. Yep. Block. So, <laughs> get, off, uh, get off them. Get off them. Because really, these girl. are my three favorite people. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> They are so, so entertaining to me. <laughs> no, really. Like, all of them are just so chaotic. I love it. <laughs> literally. So we find out that Gre- Greg is on the second floor. And this is when they start discussing but amongst themselves what's in their room. So mm-hmm. Joy and Kasi are right across from each other. And Greg is on the second floor alone. So they're able to look out a hole outside of their um, cell door. 
Mm-hmm. And we get to see that Cassie's key is outside her door on the ground. Yep. And so Cassie's like, Joy, do you see anything? Do you see anything? And Joy's like, mm, it's not giving I see anything. I, I don't see nothing. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, girl. So in Joy's cell block, she sees two tin cans and she has a toothbrush. So, and she also sees a red key dangling in the corner of her room that she cannot reach because she's just too short. Mm -hmm. So, that's what's in her room. And in Greg's room, he tells us that he has three pictures of prisoners in his room. Um, So, Kasi has a diary room. She talks about how it's so amazing to watch these two other players try to figure out what's going on. Because that's just how what Kasi does. Like whenever she sees somebody in a challenge, she's like, "It's so cool to analyze them." And what I love to watch and see. I just and love just... watching them see how they're gonna get out of this one. And it's like, okay, Kasi, it's giving mo, it's mm-hmm. giving mo. Mm-hmm. So this is when Kasi kind of realizes that Joy is probably the first one who needs to get out because Joy mm-hmm. can see her key. Her. We pause here and we hop to cell block E. Cell block E is Will, Avery, and Samara. Will and Samara are the ones downstairs across from each other, and Avery is the one upstairs. So Will starts to aggressively ask Samara what's on her desk. One thing Will going to do is take charge. I said mm-hmm. in the last video, to, to, to premiere recap, he gives me that person at the job who think they the manager, and one mm-hmm. thing Will does is take charge in every it's role. The manager. Now, sometimes it's needed, and it's sometimes it's like, now, hold, hold, calm down, buddy. I'm not going to get yelled at now. I'm not at work. Yelling? So what's in your room? What's on your desk? Like, damn, can I look around? Can I breathe? <laughs> so Samara is literally replying to every answer, to every question he asks. Well, I have some room plans and I have a dangling key. Is there something to stand on? Do you have anything in there? She's like, I just, I can't reach it. You sure you can't reach it? Do you have a... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make sure. And this is when we see, and this is what pissed me off because why is Avery the one telling us um, all the shit that's in her room when we just saw Greg in the room. So Avery's <laughs> like, I have a screwdriver, I have a stool, it's broken, there's no legs. And I was like, Greg, what was you doing? You <laughs> I only have prisoners. Like, that was it. Like, girl, look around. I don't know. So Will sees in his room a chest set, and he sees that one of the chest pieces has a magnet on the bottom, so he's, like, mm-hmm. moving it around, and he's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this magnet. But girl, Will... I would immediately... like When I saw the magnet, I was like, okay... I well, I didn't think past get the key outside of the door, but I was like, the door is magnet. Like we're in a cell. Mm-hmm. This is a magnetic door. I don't know. Like I feel like my mom would start tinkering. <laughs> 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 so then we hop to cell block F. Cell block. Why am I going? Hello. Oh, okay. Then we hop to cell block F. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I am. Cell too. block F is Jacob, Sandy, and Pranav. Mm-hmm. So Jacob. And Sandy? No. Who's on the bottom? So Jacob and Sandy are on the bottom. Jacob and Sandy are on the bottom across from each other. So Jacob done destroyed his room and he's um, looked through everything. And so he peeps outside of his own door, looks down, and he sees and, his key on the And ground. that's the thing. Like, I remember, like, Will, Will, you know, and we're going to get into that later. He, he peeps his out of the corner of his eye. Mm. It didn't look like Kasi could really move out much or yeah. if she's the mo. She wouldn't want to move out that much and see it. I don't know. But <laughs> it's really crazy because he stuck his whole damn head out damn near mm-hmm. and but saw the key. In every cell, the other person didn't see the key. So I won't say that. Like, that, that's another thing, too, yeah. It seems like the other person could, but all three cells, the, the person on the opposite side did not see the Did key. not directly see it. No. Not really. So this is when... Um, Jacob sees this key and he's like, I just need to try to reach it somehow. So I got to figure that out. And Girl, Sandy that went to work quick. Yes, bitch. Sandy done took off her shoe. She done threw the Bible. Girl, they threw the Bible. I said, not the Bible. Bible. That's why, that, that's, see, see. That's why that Sandy girl. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Jesus smiled right back on that ass, Sandy. Girl. He said, the Bible. The Bible girl. girl, they was throwing everything at that damn key. What nothing was moving, it was not and, doing and she nothing. Every throw that's what pissed me off, girl. <laughs> every <laughs> single throw, did I get it? Should I throw my shoe? <laughs> <laughs> she threw, she threw her whole room out the goddamn door. <laughs> Literally, it was funny because later on, when they had to get it back, they throwing all her shit back in there. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> 
So Alex is outside and Alex is talking to the two masterminds. The two masterminds are Daddy, Daddy Dom mm -hmm. and the mole. Okay. Yeah, y'all, Dom was being annoying as the mastermind, I felt. Like was it was he? it was giving a lot. It like, was doing way too much. Every single time she talked, he just said something that made me that pissed me the fuck off. Mm -hmm. So this is what they have to do. They have to decide to double the prize money, which will make it twenty thousand dollars. They need to decide to take 10 minutes off of the clock and they can double that money. Casey was like, she might want to keep it at 60 because it's giving, are they really going to finish it in that amount of time? And Dom was like, well, if they can't do it in 60, then they can't do it in 50. So we might as well just do it because if they're not going to make it, then they're not going to make it. And at first, Casey was hesitant. Dom was like, is she the mole? She doesn't want to double the cash money. And it's like, damn, like, I, I, I didn't think this gave mole, to be honest, but mm -mm. I do think Casey is the mole. So maybe it was giving mole. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. So um, eventually, Casey's like, okay, if you want to do it, Dom, let's do it then. And Dom was like, I want to take 10 off and 10 minutes off, and I'm going to double the cash money. So boom, they're at $20,000. All three of them. Double people. down, Dom. That's what he said. He can double this me. <laughs> Please. So we go back to sell block D to the flops. Greg, Joy, Stop and Stop calling them the flops. You're not gonna do. You're not gonna do. Joy, Greg, and, Joy like and Cost. Why not Greg? You left. You can call Greg a flop. You ain't gonna talk about <laughs> Mother Joy. At least not Mother Joy. So, at Cassie, least not Mother Joy. Cassie says she's keeping her eye on Joy, so she wants. Mind you, she Joy needs to keep her eye on that key that she has. She can't see outside her damn self. Like, no, y'all, I'm literally defensive of Joy. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> no, somebody needs to defend Joy. <laughs> No, literally. <laughs> Joy is Why are you cracking up? Please. Joy is so hilarious. Hilarious as fuck. And I'm going to so, stick beside her, y'all. I will be defending her all podcast. Get ready. As you should. <laughs> the fuck? So, Joy apparently wasn't given much input at all. <laughs> no. Because they were like, please, Joy. No, so we literally cut back to them. And Joy is silent. <laughs> Why the fuck? Cassie's like, well, is, it, is there anything you can do? No. No. <laughs> can you reach the key? No. No. Why? <laughs> like, please. <laughs> is there anything else in the room? I don't no. know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Greg ain't really saying shit neither. What he can do? He up there. It's like something. That uh, really, no. That really it was, was a bad thing. There. It, it Cassie, was bad. Cassie was like, if you can see your key, then you're probably the one who can get your key. Like, you have the advantage. You can see. Which was not the case at all. She your needed key. She needed the other two. She did need the other two. So we get to sell block. So really, it was Cassie who was supposed to be worried about her key because she's the designated key getter first. Uh, really? Really? So but we they can't win key. unless that person gets out first. And from mm -hmm. what we can see, the other person on the other side, like we mentioned, you're not saying what you're going to get into. Mm -hmm. So I sell Black E. This is Will, Avery, and Samara. So they start tearing apart the sheets. Will's like, y'all, tear apart the bed. Tear about the sheets. Y'all better dig in everything. And then this is when Will sees <clears throat> sees um the ring of his key down mm -hmm. out his um window. But he can't tell that it's a key. He just sees the ring. He's like, what is that? It looks like it could be a key ring. So he says, uh, Samara girl, what is this right down here is giving the ring to a key? And Samara's like, mm, it might be a hair tie. Now, y'all, <laughs> a hair tie in an abandoned prison? No, and, and first of all, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm trying to see from her angle how she didn't see that there was a key. Like, maybe the thing stuck out too long. I don't know. Get your head up out of there like Jacob did. Like, I don't know. But then, yeah, Will goes like, oh, it's a hair tie. I'll worry about it later. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck would it be a random hair tie outside? Like, she told him it was. She can see no, it. No, no, I'm saying, even if it is a hair tie, it's there for a reason. <laughs> it is the fact that he can't figure shit out he knows something is outside of his door. I will say, I can see how it's not neither of their fault because she really can't see it and he had to take her word for whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? But it's just like, yeah, that's there for a reason. Why not? Because thing, if 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 it is a hair tie, it's, it's there for a reason. If it's not mm -hmm. a hair tie, it's like it's something else. Like I don't know. <laughs> like, girl. So they see that. Well, they don't see anything. Um, and Samara just says. Since, she doesn't. She she doesn't think it's a key because he asked yeah. her, "Is it a key?" She's like, "It's yep. not a key." Exactly, not. and that was too. I would not give a permanent answer at all. I don't see one, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure. Well, I, I would. It could mm -hmm. be the key. 
It could be. Should you try getting it? Why would you affirmatively, affirmatively say no? That that's not a key. If you're not sure if that's a key, because she didn't know what it was. She was like, no, Probably. no, but you were not that sure. Like, uh -oh. so back to cell block F. We have Jacob, um, Sandy, and Pranav. So Jacob has found his key previously. Mm -hmm. So he has tied all of his bed sheets to his uh chess board, girl, and has his chess board and the bed sheets out of the window. The thing is. Down. Cell block, so this is about F, F, right? Mm -hmm. They completed theirs the quickest in the most ghettoest way. All they wrong. did not use everything. Was wrong. My thing is, did he not peep that the the it chess pieces magnet. were magnet? I guess he did not. That's the thing. He, I, he didn't need to. He didn't need to. They, they were done. Mr. First. MacGyver, bitch. He they tied them first. sheets together to that board. He 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 hooked that thing over. Literally, mm -hmm. he literally swung the key to him. Like that first. was not the rule. He got it, unlocked himself, and then unlocked um. What they got that Sandy? Sandy. And then the because the, 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 the point without the, the stool without because the point of the challenge is the person at the top level. You know. Uh, Pranav in this situation, he has the stool in his room. Instead mm -hmm. of using that to get her key, he threw her his pillows. Jacob mm -hmm. threw her his pillows, his stand, anything to stand on. She got her key without a stool, and they just went and got got Pranav. <laughs> and they just went and got Pranav and dipped. So, well, that's exactly what happened. When getting Pranav, we find out that the prisoners do matter because with the mm -hmm. prisoners, you're supposed to determine that whichever cell block the prisoners were in. So one was in cell 17, one was in cell 18, so one was in cell 19. And you go through it and you see that cell 17 has a Bible and inside the Bible is the key to his room and that's how they got Pranav out. And see, like, this is why I think I really would just suck at this shit because I don't think I pay attention to detail enough. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot of sections where it's like, you have to see, match the word with this and make sure this is mm -hmm. here. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no boogie, mm -hmm. no girly pop. So <laughs> they get out and there's 18 minutes left on the clock. And I was like, and when I saw that it was 18 minutes, I was like, ooh, it's ooh they are not going to get, gonna get it. Um, <laughs> so Jacob says he doesn't think the mole was in this group. He says the mole was definitely not in this group because we were just too efficient. We got out real fast. That, no, no. Can't be. Can't be. Can't be. <laughs> can't be. And I don't think it is too. I think it's One of them is confirmed not. <laughs> so we go to cell block. <laughs> we go to cell block E. Back to Avery, Samara, and Will. Mm -hmm. And this is when, first of all, they are struggling. There's only 17 minutes left. And <laughs> Will is like, I guess the last option I have is to try to see what this thing outside my room is. And it's like, that should have been the first option. I don't need. So he um he tries to figure out what it is. So he puts um a magnet on it and he finds out that it's the key. He like ties the bed sheets to the magnet, <laughs> puts the magnet out, and he finds out that it's the key because he just picks it up. He's like, it's the key. Oh, it's the key. So he has the key. He gets out of his room. And this is when he fig figures out that he has to go to Avery's room and let Avery out. So that well, no, can... Avery, Avery clocks it. She's like, from the information we've gotten, the yeah. school is to help um, Samara get, Samara get out. So Samara she, she, she really figured it out. After, like, Avery be eating when she's and not we'll... trying to. We'll not, get into that. <laughs> and Will is like, um, Will is like, it's very suspect that Samara wasn't was telling me this wasn't a key because this was like literally a key. And what she she had a diary room she was just like oops <laughs> literally <laughs> so Avery <laughs> so Avery's they be like, setting them up like they do be setting them up they be putting them in situations to like actually look like the mole like they really mm -hmm. they knew she that couldn't see that purpose. they knew she couldn't see that girl so this is when Avery is like, y'all need to go check cell like 18, 19, 20, and 17 and check to see if there's a key because y'all need to unlock me. And um, that's what the fuck he does. He gets the key. He unlocks Avery. And then they get to school, the school to get Samara out. And Samara gets out. And the thing um, is, after or actually, seeing... they start they start putting the stool together, but they're not done just yet. Yeah, well, yeah, they have they have to under they have to like take it apart and then mm -hmm. shove it to her, and so she can put it back together. And like mm -hmm. seeing myself like F did, I would be like, this taking too motherfucking long. Mm -hmm. Like, girl, you can't just you, uh, get us you pull off. Like, girl, make it work. Make it fucking work. hers with the eat. Like, girl, jump. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So cell block D, <clears throat> the flock. Are just struggling. Who we see a scene of them all struggling. They don't know what to do. Well, no, confused. no. Joy yes. eats it up this round because she says, um, she needs a stool, and Greg says he has one. 
Progress. Chaffee didn't do that. So, Alex asks, <laughs> um, this is when we go back to Alex and the Mastermind. She says, Casey and Dom, um, it seems like there might be a team that needs your help. What team might need your help? <laughs> and it's like, girl, just say they plop, please. So um, Dom is like, clearly Selbach D is going to be help. D. And Casey's like, well, if you guys want to risk $1,000, I can give Selbach D a clue. Now, this was extremely easy decision. I was like, $1,000? Y'all, y'all doubled y'all money. Y'all at 20000 And you can't lose to be just 19000 And da- this is where Dom was getting crazy. Because I was like, I don't, I don't think we should do it. And Homegirl was like, girl, we literally have 15 minutes. They're not like, going to get it. Like, be, come, be serious. Be smart. Be smart. Be literally for real. Because thing is like, especially because he says so much like, you know, why would you want to risk any money? That's something the mole would do. Well, babe, if they don't get it out in time, you're not going to get any money. Literally. And I think he wasn't getting that concept. Um, But Casey was like, girl, you can blave it on me. I don't care. We're doing it. some pretty cheap purchases. Like, be, come on. Please be for real. This was not nothing crazy. So um, Casey was like, we're doing this. Let's do this. So they did it. And Dom um, So they Happy lost. Ship. He did. So they lost $1,000. So that's $19,000, which is still good. Oh, and Cell Block D gets a clue. So Alex brings them up. And who is it that Cassie has a phone in her room? My thing is, you didn't see the phone? That's what Alex thinking, girl. You don't stop looking hard enough. If you didn't see the phone. So Cassie answers her phone. And Alex says, the key is right outside your doorstep. And, you, I was like, oh, there's more. And the chess pieces are magnetic. I was like, bitch, this is one hell of a clue. That was the entire... <laughs> That was the entire. That is the challenge. That's the entire challenge. Like that was crazy. This, she basically should have called her and say, "Hey, Kasi, there's a key outside your door. Use the magnetic check pieces to get that." That's what key. she did. That's literally what she said. <laughs> That's so, basically what she said. So Kasi is like, she did it like in a little tube to make it sound like it was an actual clue. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> Tried to spice it up. So you said the same time her like, real quick. Look, girl, get the key. It's outside. The door. Literally <laughs> walked her through it because uh, it was very. Simple after that. Kasi was like, now, Joy, how you didn't see the key? Be, please. Please be fair. Now, Joy, the thing is, Joy is just so suspicious that with this one, it kind of actually makes sense. Joy but, uh, been suspicious uh, in episode one. She can't help it. Literally. So, Black at Cell Block E, Black, <laughs> back at Cell Block E, we have Will, Avery, and Samara, and they finish getting the stool together, and they all are able to exit out, and they are done. So, we are I all noticed that uh, Will lifted Samara in the air, and I couldn't help but get a little he did. Tingly at that site. Mm-hmm. Oh, when she, when she, when, right when she got out. You mm-hmm. are weird for noticing that. Um, um, <laughs> because I would like to be lifted by Will. I mean, I, I mean, Will's not giving that. He's not. He's giving toxic. Ooh. You know, a good toxic dick won't, you know. Once, once or twice. Once or twice. Once or twice. So <laughs> they all get out. So cell block F is done. Cell block is E is done on their own. Um, And we are waiting for cell block D. And they only have. A few minutes. What is it at right now? It's at literally one minute. As like, Kasi, damn, no, okay. lose. So, Kasi gets her rope and her magnet, and she gets the key, and she gets out. So, she looks, and she has to search and find Greg's key. Kasi literally held this cell on her back. Um, yeah. So, she, she finds Greg's <laughs> key, and then she unlocks the key for Greg. They get the stool, and this is when Joy, the mole, um, <laughs> literally <laughs> does not help. So, they un- undo her <laughs> thing, and they're like, Joy, you got to put it together. When I tell y'all, Joy is moving slower than ever. She is Joy like is not the so most slow. Leave her alone. Like, girl, she dropped. They like, she has it in her hand. She's dropping it on the floor. Oop, oop. Trying to pick it up. Girl. And this is why I definitely was like, rebuild the stool. No, girl, if you don't start jumping, I don't know. Something, something. We're just waiting on you. That shit was crazy. So <laughs> we go back outside to Alex and the Masterminds. And real kick, Alex's like, what if I offer you $5,000 right now? <laughs> <laughs> Put you on live, I give you a thousand dollars. So quick with it. Give that. They were just chilling. Five thousand right now. Five thousand. <laughs> 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 That's probably really why funny. Dom was like, no, because it was like this came out of nowhere. Wait, <laughs> and Casey was like, yes, yes, real quick. <laughs> Casey Mole ass. <laughs> so, um, Casey's like, yes, yes. And Dom's like, no, it's no. Like, five minutes, five minutes. Um, but, like, so, at that point, I feel like it's like, come on, like, give uh-huh. them the extra five. Because you uh-huh. took 10 away. Uh-huh. 
And if they so, had the 10 that you took away, they would have got out. They would have got out. But that would have been $10,000. But they ended up earning... If they take the 5000 away, it's at $14,000 right now. Yep. Better than 10 it's Better than 10 So, um, they get there five minutes, and they still are struggling. What the five minutes? You <laughs> they ain't struggling to put it together. They, they definitely they were at, needed it. They were at 20 seconds when she finally got the stool together. And then she gets out. And it, by the time they exit, they were at seven seconds left on the clock. She I, I just knew they was not going to make it. I was shocked. I was like, because I thought the door was far. It was right there. Mm -hmm. I was like, if they had to get anything else, it would have been over. Literally. Girl, um, so Joy going to have a diary room. <laughs> it's <just> like, <laughs> it's like, what? Joy says, Joy says, I love Joy. Now I feel like <laughs> might be the mole because, Tassi, you should have slugged your team. <laughs> And it's like, boy. <laughs> to be fair, to no, be fair, you Will, saw the key. No, Will and Jacob saw their key. And Samara and Sandy did not see it. So if the scenario is the same, Joy was not supposed to see it. Uh, Kasi was. I, I just feel I'm like just all saying. Of the mole is crazy. But she's so hilarious. Because <laughs> <laughs> Kasi so much. No, because he so much in this challenge for her to be calling her the mole. That's that crazy. hilarious because she be doing the absolute least. <laughs> but when she get in that diary room, she gonna tell you her thoughts. No, Kasi is definitely the mole because... <laughs> Girl, are you? She be so confident about who the mole is. That's too. why that's I feel like. Me. That's why I feel like there's no way she's the mole because she's so <laughs> unserious. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, y'all. She makes me crack up laughing. She's so funny. <laughs> so I they, hope someone no. else feels this way about her, please. <laughs> they ended up earning fourteen thousand um, this round, so their current prize bucket is at twenty six thousand five hundred dollars. Oh, um, big bank. So, all I do is get bank. Her. So this is what Alex is like. We pulling up to a hotel, y'all. So they all pull up to the hotel for the night. And at the hotel, we see a few one on ones. We see Jacob and Pranav. They talk about how they're kind of suspecting Sandy just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, they're were suspecting Sandy, but, but not now anymore, they're not so suspecting Sandy. But they want other people to still suspect Sandy. Mm -hmm. Um. So there's that. Joy and Casey have a conversation, and Joy just talks. Joey just talks very hilariously. Uh, but they just talk about how the game was kind of intense and how I hate the little social parts they show because it's always just like mm -hmm. bullshit. Like, oh, we yeah. had a wonderful day, didn't we, girls? I feel like we did really good. <laughs> Beautiful girl. There, was a, day. there like, was a part that I was gonna write down um when they were like looking at the sunset when they were at the luxury uh place. And I was like, I don't need to write this down. They this is irrelevant. <laughs> so irrelevant, but yeah. Um, so Will has a diary room. He talks about Samara not seeing his key being suspicious, so he's probably gonna start voting her when he gets to the mole quizzes or whatever. But we move. So at this point, they all get a night out. Girl, so and they, I was like, a night out? Is this the challenge? I thought it was a challenge for to say, oh, they're gonna get to party. We're gonna get to see them in a social setting. Girl, they lie. Girl. They lie. And everything is not what it seems in the moment. Everything is not nah. what it hey. seems when you can have hey. everyone hey. in your hey. wild. Hey. Okay. Hey. <laughs> okay. So um, they all get a night out, but it's not really what it seems. So mm -hmm. why are they driving? And Pranav is in the driver's seat. Greg is in the passenger. Greg going to say, Pranav is the daddy. I'm the mommy. And all y'all are little kids. <laughs> Greg, he's real. Greg Come is on. hilarious. And I just don't all oh, hear him and just be like, that's Greg. The Greg just be talking. So they're driving to this designated location that they don't know where they're Literally going. Literally in the middle of nowhere. And they're driving in the middle of nowhere. It's pitch black, dark as Mind you, they in Australia. They could have got attacked by a giant spider, bitch. A giant kangaroo, bitch. So they're all dressed up. <laughs> they're all dressed up and they're all separated in these two different cars and they're just mm -hmm. driving on their way there. And um, they start... Getting on the back road. This is when we see Casey. Um, she said it's hard for her to trust anyone, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean she can't be her friends. And she, we see her asking all these questions and trying to get to know people and whoop the whoop the whoo or whatever. So the first car of people pull up. Mm -hmm. And Alex tells them that this car of people needs to go to Sector 31. And they jump because Alex is speaking from a speakerphone uh, <laughs> a mic. And so they jump a little bit, but they all have to go to Sector 31. 
So they walk into Sector 31. They see it's a laboratory with a bunch of, with an old ass computer. And the computer says, enter password. And that's all they see at this point. So car two pulls up and they have to go to Sector 45. They also see a laboratory and they also see the same setup with the computer and whatever. Is it Sector or Section? I gotta it, it's Sector. It, well, it's, girl. It's section sector. is fine. <laughs> um, so we see that on Sector 31, it is Daddy Dom, Mama Joy, Daddy Jacob, Mama Samura, Mama Kasi, and Daddy Will. And so- I like this group. I like it that group a, a lot. It was a cute group. It was a hilarious group. <laughs> <it was. laughs> Honestly. And then Sector 45 had the game players, the strategists, kind of the sneaky people. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we have Pranav, Avery, because they are always together. Know that. Best Sandy, Steve. Per, Sandy, Casey, and Greg. So that's Sector 45. So, Alex says on the speakerphone, I have good news and I have bad news. <laughs> so, she says, good news is do nothing for the next 45 minutes and $10,000 will be added to your prize. However, mm. the bad news is, is that there will be a quiz tonight and someone will be eliminated. But, in your room, there is a big ass red button. <laughs> if somebody in the room presses that big ass red button, the entire team will receive exemption. But the ten thousand dollars will not be added to the prize pot. Per so Avery has a dime. She says, "All I'm thinking is, I need exemption." Period. I don't know. So to push the button, you have to first activate it. There's a room with a table in it. And in that table, you will find the password. So the trick is two players have to remain with the phone at all times. There's a phone in each of the sectors. And two of the participating players have to stay with that phone. That phone will ring at 10-minute intervals so that we can just keep an honest um, honesty between the two sectors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, she says, good luck, house guests. And she lets <laughs> Not <me>. house guests. <laughs> yeah. It does give Julie Chan, though. <laughs> it does. So, she lets them go. And Sector 45 with Avery, Pranav, Sandy, Casey, and Greg. Immediately, Avery Get said, game, Avery said, well, I'm going. And so, she's out the Pranav. door. She's, at first, she's walking alone. And she says, Pranav, Pranav, come Pranav. on. Pranav, Pranav. Pranav. let's go. And so we and see Avery and what do and walk his ass that running. Running. We see Avery down the hallway, and it's a shot of Avery coming down the hallway, and you see Pranav running out the door behind her. Like it was on, such please. an iconic shot, it know. Because Uh-oh. Avery, Avery, when she in the game in her Laura Croft bag, it just gives me very much like let's go, let's go. Like, she is ready oh. for any mission, any Avery challenge. Was moving, and she didn't give a fuck. She is a gamer, so this is period. You know, this is what she do. So in Sector Thirty One. <laughs> <laughs> They just it's there. so funny because Joy is there and Joy is always hilarious. Kaki is <laughs> honestly funny as hell. And then Will's like, the way Will is in this it's scenario just, is hilarious. Like this whole room is so oh. unserious. <laughs> and they're all sitting there quietly and then every once in a while one of them gets a designated line. Honestly, it would be there. even more funny if Jacob was in the other room. Like, if it was... No, <laughs> <it's> literally... <laughs> So th- they're literally sitting there, and every once in a while they get a line. Like randomly, Kasi would be like, "Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna stay here." Randomly, Will would be like, "Yeah, we're not going anywhere, huh?" And Tom would be like, "Yeah, we're we're gonna just trust that we're gonna get this money." Mm-hmm. Joy's like, "Well, the money is more important." It's like, Why are y'all getting your uh, real hot intro? I knew y'all doing. They did give that. The money is more important. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back at back at Sector Forty Five, Pranav and Avery are on that shit. So it's Pranav, Avery, and Sandy doing those. They literally move it like it reminds me like a Law and Order scene or a Hollywood uh-huh. murder. They just they running through stuff. They, <laughs> <laughs> like they gotta find the case. So they're moving around the room. They hack it into the system, bitch. No, literally. <laughs> Casey and Greg are guarding the phone or whatever. So this is when Pranav starts noticing. Oh, there's a periodic table here. There's um words on here in each element designates to a letter and we got to put the letters together to like period and Sandy, I wouldn't have got Sandy is that. like Sandy's like Pranav is just a human computer like mm-hmm. this man works and works and he's on overtime his brain da-da-da. so they see that 
the word brain is circled on the periodic table, B-R-A-N, whatever the fuck. So mm -hmm. they go and they try that on the interpassword section and it's wrong. Yeah. So they got it wrong. And we go back to sector 31 and they chilling. <laughs> it's right, everybody there. Like, it's funny because they're not even talking. Like, they're not even chit chat. It's just. <laughs> at, the end, at the end of the segment, it was quiet for a while. At the end, Will's like, you know, we gotta always try to put the money in the pot. And then we go back to sector forty-five, and they moving, and they just move. It just it's just such an opposite scene. <laughs> so sector forty-five, they don't try the word unreal. They get that wrong. They're trying to do all of this, do 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 do, and then boom, they get a phone call. Ooh. So. Joy answered the phone and Greg answers the phone. Greg answers the phone for section 34, 45. Joy answers for 31. And essentially, Joy is like, what y'all doing? How y'all doing over there? And Greg was like, I mean, he has a diary. He says, I'm going to be honest about what I'm doing. <laughs> and what I'm doing is sitting here by the phone. Um, so when they're talking, Joy is like, I mean, so we just all decided that we're going to be chilling with the money. Mm -hmm. And Greg is like, yeah. And I've decided that I will also be doing the same. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> and this is when Greg notices, like, it does not seem like they're working it because they're over here passing the phone around. He's, and no, Greg is ordering. Greg's like, can I speak to Jacob now? And then Jacob gets on the phone. How y'all doing over there? Is everybody good? Jacob, we're good. <laughs> He's like, well, can you phone. pass the phone to Dom? Dom gets on the phone. He's like, mm. and I'm thinking, why is the other team not telling him the same shit? Like, because if they're like, pass the phone to Pranav. Caught him right there. Right there. Because yeah. Pradam was down in the room. They just wasn't doing it. Um, <laughs> or whatever. So, <laughs> meanwhile, Pranav and them are searching, searching, trying to try other passwords. They try another password. They, they try get, Berserk. They like, try Berserk. They get that one wrong. Be serious. And it's like, damn. So, after all of that, the phone done rung again. So, now <laughs> Greg and Jacob are on the phone. Um, and this is when Greg's asking to talk to other people. And Dom notices that Greg mm -hmm. is specifically saying, I'm not doing Which this. I feel like I would I not have clocked. Mm -hmm. Like, I gotta be more perceptive because I don't think I would have clocked that. Mm -hmm. So Dom is like, I would love to hear from everyone else. Oh, ate him up. <laughs> ate him up. And Greg was like, you want to hear from everybody else? And he was like, to Casey, he's telling Casey, go, and go, I, and go, I guess go. Casey, ooh, Casey, the mo ass. Casey, the mo. We've been on it. We clocked. Because he tells ass. Casey to run down the hall, get the other girls to come so they can say, hey, she runs down the hall as Pranav is coming in. She gets to the room with Avery and um Sandy. Sandy. And she doesn't say anything. She starts looking for numbers with them. And it's like, mm -hmm. you were in the room. Did you not? I, maybe because she wasn't on the phone call. She didn't catch it. Oh, I realized that after. Maybe she just was not fully aware. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Like, girl, you got to mm -hmm. come on. So Pranav gets on the phone. At, well, Greg is like, you want to uh, Pran you want to talk to Pranav? He was like, yeah, sure. Just put Pranav on the phone. So Pranav gets on the phone and Pranav's like, hello. And Pranav asked, caught. Girl, girl. So they were like, they were like, yeah, so is everyone around? And Pranav was like, oh, you know, I'm in this room alone and they're in the other room. And Greg was like, I mean, not Greg. Dom was like, they're in the other room. And Pranav was like, oh, you, you know, they're in the other like, room. I don't even think he was room. paying attention. Like, like, you could tell, like, I feel like Pranav ain't never got in trouble before or like, like <laughs> Girl, and Pr don't do don't do nothing illegal with Pranav, but girl, if the cops stop your ass, he is bitching down. My he is singing too. like a canary. No, <laughs> like oh girl. <laughs> but what was funny up. is <laughs> he gets nervous and hangs up in the bed. Like, <laughs> it's like it's so funny because that was really just the I mean you gotta have them like the spur of the moment reactions like hang up boom you know why <laughs> would he hang up, like though? no because it's like you just have to end it you just have to end it at this point fuck it who cares just end it let's why go uh, oh my god <laughs> he didn't know what to do and then Greg was like what? why did you hang up and, and Pranav was like I mean they caught me and Greg was like okay but they know? believed it and it's like they really didn't. Once you took 10 minutes to get Pranav, I'm pretty sure they would have got, got it, babe. Like, <laughs> they asked for Pranav. He said, oh, Pranav? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you left for 10 minutes. <laughs> and I don't know, was he trying to get the other people? They were just doing bad all together. Uh, it was not going to work. Well, it, the thing is, if Casey had done her job and got the girls, it probably could have mm -hmm. worked, but she mm -hmm. did not do that. She did not do her job. So, <laughs> back at Sector 31, 
they realized that the girls were lying down and the that whole they are time. in fact looking for uh, the answer to the key. So they start looking for the answer to the key. At this point, they all are starting to blame Greg. They're like, not Greg is a whole ass liar. He was lying to our face. <laughs> well, lying straight to their motherfucking face. Straight to the man. Didn't care. So At this all. Is when Jacob, he thought it was hilarious, actually. The, Jacob, Will, and Cassie, they try their password um, and they try brain. So this is when they also found Neon. Mm -hmm. So Cassie types Neon in wrong, like the mole she is. She puts <laughs> N-E-O-N-E. And then she types Neon in again. And it's like, they said you only have three chances. So or I don't you know get why locked she... out. So she got locked out for a minute. And she was like, oh, <gasps> girl. <laughs> OK, girl. the mole. I literally mole, I fear. So then we go back to sector 45. And um, they <laughs> tried the word faces. They get it wrong. They're trying to move quick because they only have 15 more minutes. Girl, so, and then they just start guessing anything. They, they put start guessing sentences, sentences in there. And shit, uh, they didn't know what they, it get, was. they got desperate down. So sector thirty one and sector forty five are just guessing words, Charles, trying and trying and trying. This is when Alex gets on the line and she says, <laughs> "Y'all, the password is in the table." And by in the table, I mean it's in the table. Like open the table up, look inside. Like she and like, it's like it's so obvious. These clues be just like. Damn, like, just give them the fucking chat. I feel like it's because the producer of that shit is hard. They know that uh -huh. shit is hard. Because, mm -hmm. like, who was going to think about that? Because I feel like there's no middleman. Either you, get it, either you get it or you don't get it. I feel like if you don't get it, you're going to need to hit. Like, point You're going to be walking around all, all day like they were. Because who would have thought, let me tear apart this periodic table? Mm -hmm. Especially in the amount of time they had. I feel like if it was maybe two hours, it would have been like, okay, girl, like, it got to be something yeah um but it just wasn't enough time i feel so section sector 45 and sector 31 go running to the table they both unlock the table nearly at the same time they see what the word is it's salvation and it looks like sector 45 found it first which is phenom in them so they go and they run but sandy has just typed in a previous password that they told her to type in <laughs> and she was like and sandy made sure to let them know she was like y'all told me to it. type it y'all told, told me to try it, it. My <laughs> So they, have to wait they have to wait. Y'all told me to try it, though. Y'all told me to try it. Okay, but y'all told me to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Just so everybody know, I was told yeah. to try it. And I don't blame her. That would have been me. That would have been me. <laughs> so they have to wait for a minute. So they're waiting for a minute, and Sector 31 has looked like they found it. So it's going to mm -hmm. be done. The second is going to be up, and Sector 41 types it in. Sector 31 types it on. Boom. They both press their button, and we don't know who won. Because it's a cliffhanger, Yana, child. You know, like we said, Netflix love a good cliffhanger. So we roll right into episode three. And do. So at episode three, we start off. We don't know who hit the button yet. And Dom is like, someone who is the mole has to be in Sector 45. Which is true, because Casey is. But Dom is, Dom is very ABC. Very much so. Very well, ABC. I don't know one in this six-person group. <laughs> I was all six of y'all. Now I'm Mind not the you, mole. you got Joy, Joy to your left, Toxie to your right. Literally. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, babe. Literally. So, <laughs> literally. So, <laughs> uh, so that's why his ass got, oop, no shame because clearly he was know. not paying attention. <laughs> he was not paying attention. So, Sector 31 all just kind of had this agreement that they can't really trust Sector 45 at this moment. So they all come out the cells and they stand in 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 sectors. So one sector is on this side, one sector is on that side, and they just sit there quietly. And sector forty five, like this is awkward. <laughs> like they're they're like this is very awkward because they know they started it. Like they all look shady and suspect as fuck. Mm -hmm. Which what would you have wanted to do? Would you have wanted to go for the? Um... I would have immediately moved. Immediately like moved. Avery, I would have been like Avery. I like honestly, I it's, I, I would have just fun. assumed. Like with this and then the upcoming task that we have, I'm just assuming everyone gonna else is going to do the bad thing. So you Everyone's, gonna I'm going to do every single thing. I, I, I will I'm say, I, someone I, else is going to do it. I definitely felt that more in those individualistic, but I felt like because it was mm. teams, I was like, yeah. mm. and then also too, like, I, I, well, I guess it just shows how much you know them. Like, I mean, Dom over there, Will over there. It's like, yeah. do they give? They're going to be looking for a clue. And I, I don't know. That's just, I, but. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's I think, way too much. Thought. I think if if it like I think Avery's probably like my first thing was I need to be safe. So, so I feel I'm like somebody, one of them is probably thinking. And see, I, my first thing was like, well, 
maybe we shouldn't do it. And I, when mm-hmm. Avery was like, we should do it, I was like, oh, okay, I guess so. Mm-hmm. And I thought it would cut to section 34, 31 doing the same thing. And they were sitting mm-hmm. I was like, well, that makes sense. Because I, I don't know, I feel like I definitely probably was like, you at least, like, for, that's the thing, like, if I was in section 45, I wouldn't want to do it. But if they started doing it, I would have did it. Like, I can see Casey being like, I'm not doing it. But since she was surrounded by people who was just going to do it. I was going to say, I will, I will say, because Avery and, like, Greg were there, I yeah. feel like that's why it happened. If Avery and Greg weren't on that sector, I don't think it would have ever happened in the first yep. place. Like it, let's Avery say you switch of. Avery with Joy, just like that. Avery can't do it in that group. They yeah. wouldn't let her. Or she's going to yeah. be the only one, unless she doesn't care to be the only one. Mm-hmm. Would she might The way she reacted in Sector 45? That's she the question. Like, okay, well, face. let's go. And they'll be like... Uh-huh. They're like, she's what? But, but that's the thing. When she did it in 45, they kind of were standing there until she was like, Pranav, get your but ass! She didn't have a Pranav. Who should have got? That's true. That's true. That's why they don't trust them together. That's true. That's again, why they don't trust them together. I don't trust them together. But like, I feel like, because like, it's what they, they thought it before this, but it's further, <laughs> it's further Ooh, mentioned, ring. and it's like, it's probably because of this. Mm-hmm. So Alex pulls, in the, pulls up in the room, and they're all standing there, and Alex is like, um, I will tell you guys, the ten thousand dollars was not, in fact, one. And of course, I will tell you guys that both teams pushed the button. Um, the team that pushed the button first was Sector Forty Five. Period. They said it was really close, and um, they it's said it like was really close. That, it's because even though sec- that's the crazy thing, Sector Forty Five had been working on it damn near the whole entire time, and still did not get it. Like, and they were mm-hmm. still this close because mm-hmm. they needed the clue to get it. So we see that the people who are going to be safe at this voting test, the quiz, are Greg, Casey, Sandy, Avery, and Pranav, which means the only people able to go out, go home, is Dom, Joy, Jacob, Tamara, Posse, and Will. So there's that. Mm -hmm. So we get to the test. We see questions like, does the mole have hair past their shoulders? Mm -hmm. Child, does the mole have a chessboard in their prison cell? Girl, I don't know. <laughs> I literally don't know, but Will says he's gonna guess Samara. Um, he feels like Samara might be the mole. Samara thinks it might be Joy, Pranav, or Greg, and that's interesting because we know what happens with this vote. But Samara <laughs> thinks it might be Joy, Pranav, or Greg, so might not be. It's Casey. Um, <laughs> what happened? And Jacob says he doesn't trust Joy, so he's probably gonna be voting Joy. So. This is when they start revealing the results. Mm-hmm. They reveal the results. Woop de woop de woop de woop de woop. Boom, Samara's out. Yeah. Will, Ooh, this is a pretty quick one. Yeah. Will is gagged. Will is gagged because he thought it was Samara. <laughs> so because he was thinking it was Samara and she went home, he's like, <laughs> it's not Samara. So he has to change Definitely the not Samara. thing. Um, I was like, that's why you can't just like, decide he got off on one, one person. Thing. Like, girl, this is like the, the, what was this, the second, third challenge? It's like, babe, she's going to be that obvious in this, like. Be for real. So this is when Alex takes her on the walk of shame to the boat of losers. To the boat of losers. Uh, um, and Avery mentions that every time somebody goes home, she's closer to that money, honey. That money. I yeah. like that for her. So, boom, we get to the next day. So the next day, we're seeing the next challenge is going to be at the Great Barrier Reef. Here we are. So they are driving to the Great Barrier. Are they driving? What are they doing? Going. I don't know. To the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah, they are Uh, driving. Okay. And Will is like, people are hopefully going to start letting their guard down because we're going to the reef. It's going to be nice and pretty over there. Um, Joy says she thinks that she's close to finding out who the mole is. Will has been adding to the pot. Because he's trying to disguise <laughs> the fact that he is, in fact, the mother. mother's clocking. I don't hear what no one says. Is she? She is. Well, she hasn't. Been, she hasn't been getting uh, the, the quiz test wrong. So, all right. Uh, well, I guess. Well, well, we, we wouldn't know because we're gonna get no, into I that. Mean, she, she's doing okay, at least. So, well, we wouldn't really know. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> so they pull up to this beautiful, beautiful resort. Um, it looks very pretty, and they pull yeah. up their crib. and it's like, come on, Netflix budget. Come on, Netflix like, budget. Where, like, is this, are these Airbnb homes? Are they That's what I was thinking. Like, they are really just putting them in these random-ass beautiful homes and these random-ass exclusive, luxurious parts of Australia. Like, fuck playing the game. I just want to go explore. Uh-huh. I was thinking the same thing. Like, as long um, as I get the test right, I don't care how mean I am, I don't care how many people think I'm the ball, I'm, I'm in the game. 
Mm-hmm. Exactly. Brr. Which so, I feel like I would get the test right because okay, if I'm in the game, you got to do something. I would have ruled out Dom, Will, and Jacob. I would just feel what if like Dom, Will, or Jacob. What if it is Jacob? Then I'm fucked. But I would have ruled them out in my head. <laughs> I feel like. I definitely would have thought Avery was an option. I feel like I would have probably thought Pernal was an option. I don't think I would have thought Greg because he's too obvious. And I feel like I wouldn't have thought Joy because she's too obvious. I think I definitely I feel like I, I feel think like I would have thought Cassie though. I think I definitely would have had okay. Cassie in my head. Like my my suspects would be Cassie, probably Casey because it just because it just like it's like she, it probably is her, and then maybe Pernal or Avery. Like I would be like those. I don't think that's a bad subset. I think those. I think it could be one of them definitely. Cassie or Casey, I think it could be. But it could be Jacob. Now that I've seen, Ooh, I'm feeling like it that, could be. That is some tea. That is some tea. I don't know, though. Um, This is when we get another scene of Casey talking about how she's memorizing shit about people and that knowledge is power and whoop, whoop, whoop. And we see Avery and Pranav talk about their little, you know, um, alliance. So I guess they are, like, slightly exchanging information, but we don't really get to see the details or whatever. Yeah. But um, Avery does talk about how Casey might go higher up on her list if she doesn't go home. This is when we get the first inkling of someone even considering Casey. Um, and Pranav says he likes his relationship t- with Avery because they exchange info without trying to influence each other. They just do it to do it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, so Pranav mentions that he likes being suspicious because it might make people guess him wrong, like as mm-hmm. a whole. And this is... this. Turns on the light bulb in Avery. Avery has a diary room, and she says, I need to start being more suspicious myself. Child. And does she take that and run with it? She yes, take she it does. and motherfucking run. She's a woman of her word. I'll give her that. You give him an yeah. inch, and they'll take him out, child. It was, oof. Girl, it was bad. It's just, it's just, we don't get into it, but it's just funny how the obviousness, like, girl, we mm-hmm. saw it. We can see it. Mm-hmm. So Jacob ends up walking to a room. And he walks into it and he sees a bunch of dossiers. The dossiers mm-hmm. are information about all of the other players. There is a letter there and it reads that if every player resists looking at all 10 dossiers, then $10,000 will be added to the cash pot. Um, it was giving, I definitely would have looked. I 100% would have looked. And, and cause in this case, I would have just felt like you're asking how many people are left at this point? Ten people. Ten. Yeah, people. you're asking ten people to de- to separately decide whether they're going to open this thing or not. I would 100 percent just believe someone's going to open it. Like someone is going to open it. Mm-hmm. So I'm open it. Uh, and then they have a line on the end that says, you know, think carefully about this choice. For although this knowledge is power, integrity will be awarded. And, you know, that they, they got some of the girls thinking. I don't think that would have crossed my mind at all. I would have been like, fuck integrity. Like, uh, like, mm-hmm. cause, like the, if the money isn't getting added, there's no reason not to look, in my opinion. Who Period. cares? And definitely someone's going to look. That's how I would have felt. So I would have definitely looked. Because that's we- the thing. The integrity part, I mean... It was a good. It was a good reward, mm-hmm. but I mean, at I mean, really, at what cost? <laughs> at what cost? But for what? Like for real? So literally, at what cost? So we get because was it a good reward? They lost the money. Like you, you did this to not lose money, but you yeah lost money. Like I don't know. I don't I know. Okay. Well, it's so, not about that thing. Some people don't care about losing money. Some people just care about being safe. It's just uh-huh. like I guess it's how much you're scared about losing that quiz. I just mm-hmm. feel like I wouldn't risk. I wouldn't risk much for the exemption just because I feel like unless we're like top six, top five, yeah. I wouldn't be too scared. Yeah. Not in these not earlier rounds. Fail. I'm not going to fail like that. Because the people who have failed, it's like, no shade, but what was you doing? Yeah. Like, Ose. They were thinking about one person and just probably making a muck Yeah, I feel like Ose was probably thinking about one person. We'll see a few others who probably were just thinking about one person. And then Samara, she was in a top six situation and she had a diary room. She was like, I did not expect to be one of six options to go home this early. Yeah. And I think that was the problem with that situation. In that situation, safety would have been good. Um, so we get, a, we get a montage of everyone going in and looking at these rules in this thing. And we see that Casey mentions that she wants to be, um, she wants to look, but the team needs to work together. And so for them to work, to look, to work together, she doesn't want to look. Um, Avery said that $10,000 is a lot, and even though she wants to start looking suspicious, 
she may not do it, but she might, and da 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 da. We get a lot mm-hmm. of ambiguity. Yeah. Um, Greg gets some ambiguity. Dom says he's not going to do it. He's a man of his word, and he wants to um continue to be a man. Of and that's like, word. of course, Dom. Yes, that's you. Of course, Daddy. Um, <laughs> and Joy says her gut is telling her that some of the players will look at it. Um, but we'll see what she does. This is when Alex pulls up. She pulls up to Paradise Quiz and she starts talking to all of them. And she says that their next mission. Oh, she tells them that we'll find the results of that dossier shit before the next vote. Uh-huh. And she starts explaining their next mission. Their next mission is going to be a treasure hunt. So there are going to be five treasure chests with $2,000 each hidden under the sea. Under the sea. So they're going to be hidden under the sea. They need to divide themselves into two teams. It is going to be the air team, and it's going to be the water team. One's on a plane, one's on a boat. Mm -hmm. So the um, water team are going to be on a boat, and they're going to be taken to this designated area where they have to search underwater for the treasure chest. The air team will be on a plane, and they will uh, have to find an abandoned shipwrecked cargo ship with Mm -hmm. a dinghy. a, a dinghy with the cargo needed to help the water team complete the mission mm-hmm. now me i can't swim so i would have to be in the air but i also mm-hmm. can't see so that's what i'm been... saying i was thinking that too i was like i would have to, I, probably the air but first of all my big ass is not trying to be in that little ass swing uh and then i'm i'm blind with glasses mm-hmm. so that probably wouldn't work for me and then like you said i can't swim and i definitely was not getting in that water mm-hmm like I think with the with the playing team, I could have been helpful once we got to the dinghy and we had to carry the shit. I can like help carry the shit, but uh, other than that, mm-hmm. you might just have to think I'm the mole. I'm the mole. I'm the mole. And I feel like this is like mm-hmm. literally like the upteenth time will basically decides who's gonna do what mm-hmm. just by being the first one to speak and the loudest to speak. And it's like damn, Most like who's gonna do which what? like that's what I'm saying. Like Joy, she might be onto something. I don't know mm-hmm. because. He, but that's, he could just be that leader type person, which a lot of people are, and he has mm-hmm. no reason not to be in this type of game because he can't get voted out because of it. But mm-hmm. it's just like he really always is deciding who is doing what, essentially. Mm-hmm. This randomly just or has a it. big hand in oh, it. <laughs> yeah. So Will says he's a strong sw- swimmer, so he's gonna decide who the fuck goes what, where, what, and where. He says he's a strong swimmer, so he'll be on the swim team. He wants Jacob on his team, so Jacob will be on his team. Um, Greg was like, he's lived on a ship for two years, so Greg needs to do it. So we was like, good. And he says, who needs to be in the plane? Oh, Pilot Joy. I'll be in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and they was like, Greg, or somebody was like, Greg, Greg, Greg was, was like, like, you don't want to be in the plane? No, I'll be in the boat. And they were like, but you're really good at the plane. I'm a strong swimmer. <laughs> Mind you, we didn't see her that water once. Oh, <laughs> Joy is so, hilarious. Joy, because Joy why, said, why is Joy the pilot not in the goddamn plane? She said, I want to be on Will's team because Will is my number one suspect. <laughs> so that's what the fuck she did and she was on Will's team. The thing is, one thing about Joy, she gonna do what the fuck she wants. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, we also see Greg say Pranav should be in the air and Greg said he wants Pranav in the air because even though he doesn't trust Pranav, he does not think Pranav's the mole, and he wants at least one person who can actually complete the mission in the air team. Um, and that was a good choice, because Pranav was the one who helped complete the mission the most. Yeah. So we, we see on the air team, it is Pranav, Avery, Kasi, Sandy, and Dom. On mm-hmm. the water team, it's Joy, Casey, Greg, Jacob, and Will. Mm-hmm. So there's that. So, we start off on the water team, on the boat team. So, the boat... Uh, team has to go underwater in this like triangular triangular place. I don't fucking know how to explain it. The water has a designated area where the fucking <laughs> treasure chest is, might be. And it's a large so one person, it's a large area that they designated. It's a where big the chest ass area. So one person has to stay up at all. Uh, well, they decide that one person stays up um, in case someone needs to pass up the treasure chest and two people go down and look so that they can try to find it. So Will and Jacob start swimming, and they start looking for it. And Joy says she wants to watch Will very close. Mm -hmm. So then we hop to the plane team. In the plane, Avery is saying in the diary room that she's going to start pretending um, that she's missing things. And she says, it sucks because I don't want to cost us the the, uh, money, but I do want to make people think that I am the most. Mm -hmm. So 
they are passing around these little islands and they're looking at the islands from a high ass distance. Mind Very you. high, I like I would not be able to see it. And they have to see if they can spot anything or, or something like that. And on Avery's side is Cassie. And Cassie ass hasn't said one thing. Tossy the mole. But no. Cassie the mole. It's either Cassie or Casey. But Avery sees the dinghy and she says in her diary room, ooh, I'm just going to let it pass, I fear. And I thought she would do it once and then the next time not do it again. But we see that she just was not going was to that her, But was that her seeing it? It, it seemed like they, they, they showed her looking that direction. But she's just like, I'm not seeing anything. So I wasn't mm-hmm. sure if that was her seeing it. The only not. reason I thought she did is because the diary room right after was, I'm going to pretend I'm the mole, even though. Da, 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 da. Mm. But I don't know. Honestly, we're not. We're not. We don't know. We, if can't the mole. Com- we can't confirm nor deny whether she actually saw it or if that was strategy. But she does say she wants to pretend she doesn't see shit. Mm-hmm. And then she kind of snapped up her now a little bit because Rob was like, Do y'all see anything? Do y'all see anything? She was like, It's not there. And it's like, mm-hmm. Mind you, it literally was. Literally was. And she keeps saying, like, I'm sick. And she said that in another sentence. Like, oh, I just feel sick. And, I don't feel and it's like, you're, you're the mole. Be for real. Uh, <laughs> so, but it's the, like, I feel like her mm-hmm. telling us that she wants to to be the mole so bad makes you feel like, well, she's definitely not the mole, right? Unless they want us to think she's not the mole. And it's like, are they going to trick the audience like that? They damn. Like, are we in the game? The game within the game? Okay, Survivor. We're in the game. We're in the game. <laughs> So, um, Pranav looks out the window. He finds the buoy ship. Um, the buoy ship. He finds the dinghy ship. Mm-hmm. And he says, he land the plan. He did peep. He, he says, land the plan. Cassie nor Avery was saying anything. Uh-huh. Did he Mo one and Mo two. and Avery not seeing it. There's not two moles, so one of them just dumb. <laughs> like, what y'all doing? <laughs> Unless Cassie's the mole and Avery was just trying to pretend, then it's like, okay, I guess it makes sense. But anyway... So they, they land the plane, and then they find the cargo ship. But the cargo ship's on the other side of the island. So they run across the island, and they have to get the equipment or whatever. Um, and we see the map of where they have to go. So they have mm. to hike it, kind of, all the way to the other side of the island where the boat team actually is. And they always have the most randomest physical activity. Like, they show up, they nice clothes, you know, Pranav mm-hmm. being his Sunday's best at all times. <laughs> and then they just say, well, now you have to run across the oh, the, uh, the island. Like Literally. What? Who was prepared for that? I'm in heels. Literally. <laughs> so um, we go back to the boat team. So at the boat team, Casey, Will, and Jacob are currently swimming. And Greg is like literally just ordering them around. What are you doing? Are you in the water? You need to look more. And um, he's getting a little snappy with Jacob because Jacob can't find anything. And Greg's getting a little mad. Um, and it's like, what's happening? Literally, what's happening? So Will is trying to find something. Jacob thinks he sees something in the water. He asks Will to come over. And Will ends up diving in and, like, hurting himself or something. Yeah. So Will gets hurt. And he has to wrap his arm up. And he literally can't get in the water from here on out. And this is when Joy is like, hmm, maybe mm. Will might not be the mole. Because if he's hurting himself. <laughs> and it's like, honestly, low-key, him hurting himself. Well, I guess he did get hurt. Yeah. But if you're the mole and you're dedicated, I mean, shit. Now, that you that dedicated... It's never that serious. Let me cut myself, Chad. Will, you know. Will's the type that if he was the mole, I feel like he would be extremely overbearing. Dedicated. <laughs> uh, but she thinks he's no longer the mole at that point. Well, for now. Well, for so now. We yeah. go back to the playing team, and the playing team um, are already running up to the boat. They see all the equipment they have to carry. It's kind of a lot. They have to carry these oxygen um, tanks. They have mm-hmm. to carry these uh, buoys and floaties and shit. Yeah. Um, so and here girl. goes obvious Avery. So <laughs> she's carrying an oxygen tank. Uh, Dom is carrying a few things, like the man he is. Uh, Pranav has something. I think um, uh, Kasi, they, they, they all have equipment, right? Mm-hmm. So she's carrying her oxygen tank. You know, she has another diary room, and she, you know, basically explaining the same thing she's been saying. She wants to seem as obvious as possible. Well, not obvious. Oops. She wants to seem like the <laughs> no. Well, I guess be obvious, but seem yeah. suspicious so people, will, you know, would vote her and go home. So she out of nowhere decides to just drop the oxygen tank and walk off to the beach. Mm-hmm. I just feel like, what was that? Like she didn't. It wasn't she came- even like super super far away, but it was far enough to where someone had to go back. But it's like, and then and then literally they they kept walking because no one noticed it. And then it was like, Avery, did you drop it? She was like, Oh yeah. And then Dom just goes back and get it. It's like that was the most randomest thing ever. And I just feel like as fuck. I guess because people did think she was the mole and that may have sent people home because of, but it's just like mm. 
It was just random. Like, why like, would anybody ever believe that, though? Maybe like, fall out with it. Like, do some acting. Or, like, just walk slow. Like, she could have just walked super, super slow and be like, girl, it's hot. I just don't feel good. Da, 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 like, da. she literally did. That's what, uh, too many episodes later. <laughs> like, literally. But I guess, like, it worked. How, though? The person had to be slow. I don't know. Not slow. I don't know. I, I don't no. know. So they uh they pull up and then we go back to the boat team and we see that there's only 18 minutes left for the boat team to go ahead and try to find the crate and they're still struggling to find the crate. Um, finally, Casey and Jacob are 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 looking and they finally found. I think it's Casey who finally founds where the crates are. Mm-hmm. So Greg is on the plane. Oh, Greg is um on the boat snapping at the plane team <laughs> over there. Um, when they need to be looking for the shit. <laughs> like, damn. He's like, y'all need to stop talking to them. Stop talking to them. They trying to look for the boats and, and it's like, oh my god, like y'all haven't done shit. So, um, this is when the equipment is given to the boat team. So the boat team starts trying to uh, fill up the equipment. They try to fill up these. Um, it's like a hot air balloon, but underwater. Yeah. So they have to tie the balloon to the treasure chest and then pull them up with the air that the air tanks they're given. So they end up doing it for one treasure chest. And then they're going down, and there's five more minutes left, and they're trying to do it for the second one. So at this point, Greg's like, let me step in at the five-minute mark and try to get the last five. So Greg finally goes in the water. And then he and, just doggy paddles over to the section. It's and they're so like, funny. I thought he was a good swimmer. What's happening? So he gets over there, and um, Casey is like, here, can you hold this? And Casey gives the mole. Him, Casey the mole gives him the tank, and she's like, can you hold this? And he drops the tank. So Casey has to go down and try to find the tank. She can't find it. And so they're not able to do anything after oh, that. Oh, she actually handed him the tank? You saw her do that? I did not. That's what her. I was going to say. Like, did she really actually hand, hand him the tank? Did she really but, hand him the tank? So that means she extremely gaslit him to thinking that he genuinely dropped the tank. The, the tank. That's kind of iconic. Casey if the she's the mole and she genuinely convinced him that he dropped the tank when he literally was never handed the tank, that's kind of insane. And then and then Will from the sidelines, you know, he can't get in the water no more because he's cut, wounded. <laughs> and things like that. Mm-hmm. And so uh Will is like, you dropped the tank? And Greg was like, well, can you do it any better? And then Will was like, I can't get in the water. <laughs> and it's like, watch Greg arguing. You literally dropped Greg the tank. Greg is hilarious. He's going to say what he wants and do not give a fuck. <laughs> so they only earned $2,000 from this challenge. Um, And everyone at this point is pretty frustrated. So yeah. they get back to the luxurious uh, crib. And Casey right now, she says that her suspect right now is Greg because he's a crazy player. He's wild. And at this point, it's not even giving personality. It's just giving he's the mole. Yeah. Um. So there you Which, go. Which, like I said, to me, like, someone that obvious, I would never think it's the mole. Because mm-hmm. Will also says, like, well, Greg is consistently in groups that fail. And it's like, I see that point. He also could just be a flop. Just, right? <laughs> no way he's the mole. Unless he's, like, big braining the mole. Like, if he's yeah. a big brain mole. Like, if Greg's the mole... That's low key a big brain mode because I don't think I would ever vote Greg as the mode. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, it's not Greg. And and then we get a diary room that Daddy Dom feels weird about Avery. So mm-hmm. you know, clearly the oxygen tank thing worked. It did. <laughs> Too motherfucking good. So this is when Alex pulls up to the crib. So she lets him know that a test is coming up, and she finally lets him know the result of the dossier task. Mm-hmm. So she says that you guys um could have won ten thousand dollars from the dossier task. But she's going to have one-on-ones with everyone mm-hmm. to reveal this information. So she talks to Casey first. And this is when she kind of introduces what the tea is. She says, um, I know you. some of you looked and some of you didn't. For the ones who did not look, it said that there was going to be a, what was it going to be? Like a special privilege? I forgot what it was. Mm-hmm. A reward. You will be rewarded for your integrity. Integrity, yep. So um, essentially... She explains that the people who did not look at the dossiers will be rewarded with something. So she asked them, did you or did you not look at the dossiers? And I guess they have to just tell the truth because it's like, yeah, yeah it's on like, camera. Mm-hmm. She reminds them. And that's like, they be sneaking a little sneaky shit in like, mm, it's on camera. It's on camera. It's on camera. <laughs> well, we, I, and, and, and so they ask everybody, a bunch of them say no, but we get to Greg. And Greg's like, does this stay between us? And she's like, well, it's on camera. It's on camera. <laughs> it, it didn't stay between them. At all. And that's why she didn't all. answer the question. <laughs> she did not. Um, so Greg says that he did look. We see Casey says she didn't. Dom says she didn't. That says he didn't. Pranav says he didn't. Sandy says he didn't. She didn't. And Joy says she didn't. 
Mm-hmm. Um, Avery is asked. She says that I saw the integrity will be rewarded line, and Alex was like, "Oh, so you didn't? You didn't look?" And she's like, "No, I looked. I looked. 100%. I did. Yeah. yeah, I did. I looked really fast." <laughs> it's like, it's, damn. It's funny. It's funny though because I feel like. Avery in this situation and in the last one, it's like, well, she's acting on what she thinks other people will do, essentially based on what she would do. Because, like, mm-hmm. yeah, she looked, but it's because she thought most other people would. I guess in this situation, because Greg did look, you know, she was in the right. But it's like, I think it was Greg only two people. I think Greg is Avery's only like. Whenever Avery's right, it's because Greg would do it. Because if Greg was on the other team, I think Greg would have been like, I mean, I can see yeah, that. Just- so I think only Avery and Greg think the way that they think, and nobody else does. Like, <laughs> I don't understand how people have loyal bones in these games. Me, I would be just like Avery and Greg. Fuck everybody. Like, L- Yeah, literally. I don't think I would do the op- – like, I don't think I would care enough to throw challenges, like, to make uh-huh. people think I am. That's but lot. if you think I am, I don't care. That too. <laughs> think you don't – like you actively trying to not make – I don't know. I do. I, I will want say, money in the pot. Like, if I'm trying to win, I want to win a lot. That's true. I agree. So this is when we see that if you didn't look in the bag, mm-hmm. in the dossiers, you have a chance to bid on someone that you think did look in the dossiers. The money you bid will be the prize money that's in your pot. So right now she gives them all a slip. Everybody who um, did not look in the dossiers, they get to write down an amount of money and they get to write down the name of somebody they think did look into the dossier. So, we um, see all of them put in their bids, and then we get to Alex asking, uh, talking to them in the living room about these results. So, in between this section, we see Joy. She says, I need exemption because I'm not <laughs> sure. I'm not sure who the mole is because if you, if you remember, she thought it was Will, and then now she doesn't think it's Will. So, she's not sure. So, she needs that exemption. I know that's the fuck right. So Alex pulls up to the living room, mm-hmm. and this is when Greg is a die room. He says he regrets looking into dossiers because now somebody gets a chance to get exemption, and was it worth it? Dummy, I ain't mind. It. <laughs> so Alex says the lowest bid was sixteen hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. The average bid was seven thousand dollars, and the highest bid was. Y'all, mind you, the prize pot right now is twenty eight thousand five hundred. The highest bid was $25,000. So everybody is up in arms. Dom is mad as fuck. He stands up and boom, we hit episode four. (laughs) And you'll never guess who (laughs) the motherfuck bid damn near the whole (laughs) pot. It's just like, no way you're not the mole. You bid the whole pot like that. And it's like, I just genuinely don't think she is, child. Episode four is a doozy. So, Joy <laughs> is the one who literally bid 20, the entire damn pot of money. <laughs> and they are, everyone is so but confused. This... They're like, if you're the mole, this doesn't make sense. And if you're not the mole, this just doesn't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense either way. Because you lost so much money. So, you not being no, the mole. No, no, no. You don't, you don't understand the method to her madness. Okay. And that's okay. What's the method? That's okay. She What's knew the that no matter what, she was getting that exemption pass. I love a woman who knows what she wants. She gets up and she takes it. If she had to sure. waste the whole pot mm-hmm. for safety, mm-hmm. then she needed to do that. And I will stick beside her. Okay. Okay. You... All right, girl. <laughs> uh, so no, because Joy is so chaotic. <laughs> and it, and it's so unserious. I get I get gagged because Alex says the person who made that bid. I said, oh, uh-huh. they, they saying it. Mm-hmm. Child. Mm-hmm. So Joy uh says that she bid on um Greg. Because she's asked by Alex, who did you bid on? She says she bid on Greg. First of all, at this point, when she bids on Greg, um, immediately everybody gets shook. Avery starts tearing up. They start mm. tearing up because they're like, and, and someone asked, I forgot who it was, they were like, y'all think Greg did it? And they were like, Greg did it, y'all. Greg did it. And it's like, now they know they lost $25,000. So the, they pull up the tape of Greg 
of Greg deciding um, to actually look into dossiers. So we see that Joy is going to be exempt from this next um, period. And her safety. Period, Pooh. Like, Put I don't know. Put some respect on her name. Put some respect on her name. Immediately. Immediately. So now they only have $3,500. Here go, Joy. We'll win it back, guys. We'll win it back. Yeah. Joy, shut up. She would have pissed me the fuck off. Well, did they or do they or do they not win it back? They still have not made it to 28000 <laughs> from where we're at. So Avery says, um, what kind of game are you playing for real? And Joy no, like, no, Avery because Avery got, mm-hmm. got buck. Avery got buck with Joy. She said, because I'm confused. What kind of game are you playing? Because I'm confused. I'm she just was, confused. She, she was basically like, no, for real. Like, what are you doing? And Joy was like, I don't have to, I don't have to tell you what I'm going to. And Avery was like, no, I still kind of want the answer. What, what kind of game are you playing? Like, every mission you're in has failed. Every I'm mission I'm in has failed? And Avery was like, yeah. And, like, literally. And it's like, she just kind of get quiet. And it's like, yeah. God yeah, damn. Joy. And it's like, I don't even think Joy, like, realized until she got called out. And she was like, mm-hmm. okay. So Joy has a diary room. And she's like, I understand people might think I'm the mole. And you know what? I just have to, I just have to accept that. I'm okay with that. It's like, okay, Joy. She I guess. Can. I guess. And I think pe- people people think Joy is the mole. At this point, you stupid. Because no way Joy is the mole. Like, no way. If Joy is the mole... I just think it's way too obvious. But maybe, like, her strategy is, like, if I make it so obvious, they won't think I'm the mole. And maybe... Uh, that's the thing. Like I feel like I said, I feel like I I have to I, I have to um X out Avery because she's telling us she's the mole. One thing about someone like Kasi or mm-hmm. uh Joy, they haven't expressed they want to pretend to look like the mole, I feel. At least mm-hmm. as much. So it's just like I feel like it's very possible. Someone like Casey hasn't either. So I just feel like mm. Mm. So um we get to the elimination. Sandy has a die room and says that Joy is clearly playing for herself. Pranav was like, I bid 5000 so her bidding 25000 is just insane. It's just like, why do you have to be five? Like, you can do 10000 like, if you want to do a big one. This girl bid the whole damn pot damn the whole pot. She left them with $3,500. And that's it. <laughs> they was like, and, and on the next episode, they're like, we couldn't even get a plane ride out of here if we, if we had them. <laughs> Like, damn. So we get to the quiz. The quiz is asking all crazy type of questions. What Zodiac is the mole girl? Right. Please be for real. So um, Greg says that Joy is at the top of his quiz right now. What Joy, what Greg, Greg just feels like Joy might be the mole. Sandy says she thinks the mole was on that water team because that water team did flop. Yeah. Dom says everything he thought he knew about the mole, he no longer thinks he knows about the mole anymore. He thinks it might be someone totally different. He said it might be Avery or Joy. Um, Will says that Greg didn't hesitate to take to look at them dossiers. Mm-hmm. So he feels like it might be him. So we get to um, the actual elimination reveal and we start revealing the quiz results. So we go through um, each person and then we get stop. Oh, God. And boom. And it's re- when it's revealed, their faces sink. My face set like literally because I was not expecting Dom to um, go home not this early. Literally, I threw my phone because I was like, "What? <laughs> not daddy?" Yeah, no, that was literally. I'm not gonna lie, that was crazy as fuck. So, um, all their faces drop, and everyone is like, "Oh my god, Dom is clearly not the mole. We needed him. He was incredible. They were shook. They were social shook king." Down. This was Big so Brother. Clearly, you eating, Dom. Clearly. Well, maybe not. It's a different game. Like, in this game, it's like him being so, you know, ready to play the game is helpful. That's, um, true. That's true. So Maybe Survivor. Yeah. But he's, he he talks... Maybe Survivor. He talks to... On the walk of shame. He's talking to Alex. And, <laughs> he's Uber. And Alex... <laughs> Alex is like, you played really, really good. What, what, what was going on? And Dom was like, the person who I had been thinking it was, it changed this vote. I'm like, I just changed my mind and I just shouldn't have changed anything that I did. And this is when we kind of kind of get an idea that maybe Avery d- had an effect on yep. what the fuck was going on. Like, maybe she had an effect. So that's very, very interesting. Very, mm-hmm. very interesting. So Dom goes home. We get to the next day, and they all are driving up to Ravenswood. So they pull up to a pub in Ravenswood. 
And they all go inside. There's beer and shit. And they do a little cheers for Dom. Mm-hmm. We love Dom. Yeah. Yay. And it's like, so, how much do y'all really love Dom? How much do y'all really love? So on Dom's way home, he, uh, the driver stops in this mm-hmm. random town that is right near the pub. And it parks his car right outside the pub. Dom gets a call from Alex. And Alex says, hey, Dom. <laughs> in real life, people don't always get second chance. But in this family, And this is when I... It was knew. a gag! This was giving producer twist down. Like, no shade. <laughs> I understand. Because there's no way they wanted Dom. Like, I feel like he was just such a big personality. We saw him in the diary room a lot. Like, they, there's no way they wanted him to go home that early. I was like, they are working to get him back in. Mm-hmm. And do. So, Dom needs to get the players to help him figure out which city is stamped on the back of the car that he's on. So he has to essentially radio them in on a walkie-talkie and start asking them questions about themselves so he can figure out what that city is. So he radios the pub. The walkie-talkie comes on. They all shook like, oh, my God, is that Dom? Is that Dom? Mm -hmm. And he says, y'all, I have to ask y'all some questions so that I can get back in the game. Once I get back in the game, y'all will also get $10,000. So this is a win-win, and this, guys. And this is when I was like, no, like, this is definitely a fucking production setup because not only did you see how all distraught they were for him leaving, you also gives him $10,000 stacked on top of it after they have 3500 left. I was like, there's no way they're not going to uh, help him. Mm-hmm. Literally. Not if Sandy got something to do with it. Mm-hmm. Sandy from Texas, child. So after this, literally... After this, um, Dom starts asking him questions. He starts off with Pranav. So he asks Pranav the question, and Pranav answers the question, and he says, um, he gives him his answer. Dom's like, okay, thank you so much. Sandy, I have to ask you now. So, <laughs> Sandy, so, so he asks Sandy the question, and Sandy says, uh, we're answering? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then Will and Pranav was like, yeah, I thought you were going to I thought you were gonna answer. She was like, I mean, should we? <laughs> uh, and it's like, wait, where did this Sandy come from? Because we haven't heard nothing from Sandy. Literally. Okay. They were also doing her last times we'll be hearing from Oh, Sandy. my God! <laughs> so, literally, Sandy has a good few conversations with a lot of the people there. And they're all like, I mean, we could just do it. Like, we could just definitely let him come back in. I mean, this $10,000 posse mm-hmm. is very pro bringing him back in. Especially um, so for the will. money. A lot of for people are money. pro because he's like, he's not a bad dude. He's helping us and it's for the money. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, as Sandy starts talking, strategic queen, don't you right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Casey People's starts agreeing. Start Greg, Jacob at first Greg did it, but then he did. Greg agrees. Like, he, they take a vote. And the way, Sandy gets a majority. The way Sandy explains it is she's like, he now has an advantage. Because he's been voted out, he has one person in the game that he knows is probably not the most. Because he guessed that person, he got voted out. Yeah. So therefore, yeah. and it's um, like, well, and and um, now we know he's not the mole. And us having that conversation is also an advantage. So it's like he can just literally just not come back in. Like he literally just can't. And, and they really ate it up. And it, it was one part because Cassie was like, "Well, I just think it should." I said, "Oh no, we're not doing it." We're not- <laughs> <laughs> yes, like literally, they were like, even when they were like, "Let's no. take a vote," when when they were like, "Take, let's take a vote." Um. Sandy was like, no. I mean, my answer is going to be no. Like, I'm not. I mean, it's, like, <laughs> I'm not answering my question. So I don't know how he's going to get. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which, so, that's the thing. It's like, it's weird because, like, I mean, if I was Will, if I was Kasi, if I was, if I was someone who actually wanted him in the game, you can still give him your answers. Help that's what I was, Like, I was it does not, it literally thing. does not matter I was thinking what the same some thing. people want to do. I'm like, well, everyone who wants him in the game can y'all Let's go over here. Because for now, I already gave it to him whether he like it or not. So who gives a mm-hmm. damn? You're out. Uh, Kasi, let's go, babe. I think Joy would have been okay with it, probably. Because mm-hmm. Joy wanted him to come back, didn't she? She did. She did. So mm-hmm. I think I think they could have did that. They just decided uh, to go with the group consensus, which is just stupid. But we moved. So Pralabs was like, I mean, even though we, we decided on this, he could still guess it. He could still guess it. So we see Dom try to guess um about, uh guess what, what city it is. So he scratches off a bunch of cities and he comes down to, I think, Melbourne or something, um, Matomas, one of them cities and the actual city that it is. 
and Seattle. Like Seattle. Yep. So and I was like, if this, this that's the thing. I was like, now production is gonna play and um, if 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 Netflix production gonna play in our face <laughs> and have us believe that this mm. man guessed Seattle out of all the cities on all the Y'all are not gonna do that. Y'all are not gonna do that. I said, I know they not. But then mm-hmm. also, the spoiler alert, he guesses the other city. Mm-hmm. He's down to two, and he mm-hmm. guesses the wrong one. The he wrong one. Get it. So I, and then, so I was I, like, then I was like, okay, maybe it's him. Yeah. Well, then I was like, well, damn, it's kind of fucked up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it was down to the right answer. It's like, uh-huh. well, I, I'd rather be thinking it's rigged. Like, fuck. So Dom be that close. Literally. That was so sad. So Dom is out officially. And Pranav has a die room. And he's like, Sandy keeps doing subtle shit to like remove from the pot. So it's his mm, he's just not feeling good about Sandy. Mm-hmm. So we see Alex walk in the pub. She says, I don't see a Dom here. It's giving y'all don't get that ten thousand dollars. No, so it's so funny because it's like then she was like, You guys only have five numbers in your bank account, and you guys didn't I bring know. them back. <laughs> like it's like no production definitely wanted his ass back and Alex mm-hmm. was in on it and was so they have to pe- for this challenge they Wait, the, but that's the thing. mind you after Sandy then sealed this man's fate she's like eh, I feel bad <laughs> literally <laughs> and Will is like not you feel bad and you literally the one who did it quite literally <laughs> which is hilarious so this next competition they have to complete a bank heist Twenty thousand dollars is on the line for this, so they're trying to give them big money now because they've lost everything. Because they're broke, like they broke can't get down. money for shit. <laughs> they need it. So, um, for this challenge, they have to choose two critical thinkers. Mm-hmm. Those two critical thinkers are gonna I, essentially have a vital role in this, and then they have to divide the teams up into cash team and to the gold team. So Avery volunteers, and they gagged Avery and Pranav up right will, up again. Will, Mister, I have to decide what everyone's doing in the challenge. <laughs> he continues to do so. Quickly speaks up, and he says, "Well, if Avery does it, I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna think Pranav should do it. And do mm-hmm. we want Avery and Pranav together? And it's like, why do they keep getting gagged in front of everybody like this? Because they were like, we, like, can't trust we don't trust Avery y'all together. Pranav together. So mm-hmm. let's, it is mm-hmm. like, well, mm-hmm. there. The guy guess they still ended up together, but we moved." <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Pranav chooses to um to to lead, and they're like, "How about Will's like, how about Pranav and Kasi? I'd like Pranav and Kasi to do it." So Pranav and Kasi are going to be the two critical thinkers. So Pranav has a team, and Kasi has a team. So Pranav has the cash team. He chooses Sandy, Avery, and Jacob. Kasi has the gold team. She chooses Joy, Casey, Greg, and Will. Mm-hmm. So for the cash team, um, we see them go into their designated area, into their bank heist area and Pranav is in like a back room. Mm-hmm. Pranav and Kasi are in the back room. Um Pranav says he feels like the people on his team are people he knows can actually get shit done. So that's why yeah. he chose them. Kasi says the people on her team are people who she feels suspicious of. So that's why she chose them because she wants to watch. Oh you know what? I didn't even realize that because on Pranav's team it is Sandy and Jacob who he was in the sales with and then he obviously trusts Avery a lot. Avery. So mm-hmm. yeah. Yep, that's what it was. So they see the uh, on the critical team, thinkers team. They have a, all the information that the heisters need to get the bank robbery done or whatever. So we start off on the cash team, and they see that they must walk into this um, bank. Just walk into the vault; it's open and unlocked, and you must get out exactly ten thousand U.S. dollars, nothing more and nothing less. Mm-hmm. So the gag is. That the currency is not U.S. and and it, that and right there I would have quit because like that's the thing it's like I would have quit like there's I no hate way cut, I like, hate current just like, in general shit. like I feel like the possibility yeah. of human error was just too great there's three people counting there's all this foreign currency you have someone on the other end who's not in the room converting everything over a mic into I think only one person's ear it seems like like they were not I all hearing this- him. This was the hardest challenge. Like, they definitely ends. set them up on both ends. Yeah, I think both, both, they did not want them to get this money for real, because this was hard. Um, So, they realized that they have to count this foreign money out, so they start separating it, and um, they have to basically finish separating it before they can start counting it, because they need to figure out which... Which is where, because it's for. all crumpled up together, child. They got mm-hmm. Monopoly money in there, they got Chinese, they got <laughs> Canada, like, it's a lot. Literally. So on the gold team, 
we see that the gold team has to steal $10,000 worth of gold from their safety deposit boxes. But to get to the safety deposit boxes, they have to navigate through these James Bond, Charlie's Angels as uh, lasers. lasers, girl. <laughs> um, and once they navigate through them, then they can get into the actual safety deposit box room. So Will starts nav- navigating through them, and he's a, a big one. And I didn't think that all of them had to do it at first, but they all have to yes. do it. And if they hit three lasers, they're shit done, they're shit out. So Will goes through first. He's like, damn. <laughs> I know, right? Will goes through first. He hits one laser, but um, he ends up making it through. And then we see everyone else makes it through. Also, they kind of ate that. They did. Greg um, has a Greg has a, a oh, diary girl, room going through. <laughs> he has a diary room, and he's like, "All I'm thinking about is gymnastics from when I was a young gymnast." And then he 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 go ask he's he's going gymnastics, through, he's, dance, Pilates. gymnastics, dance, Pilates, and and and, and, and all of that. And so as he's going <laughs> through, he's like, "I have to get down." And I have to get, and I have to stretch out my legs because I know that during, like, girl, if you don't get through this shit, <laughs> it was hilarious, honestly. So we see that in the safety deposit box room, they have three big ass key rings with mm-hmm. all these keys on it. And Posse back in the fucking security room has a l- list uh-huh. of three pages of names and those designated keys. So essentially, Kasi has to figure out which names goes with which keys and which safety deposit boxes they need to open to have the gold in. So that's what they start trying to do. Back at the cash team, um, Avery is trying to count money with Jacob, and Pranav is over here trying to translate the money into the correct currency. And as Avery is counting money with Jacob, she's like, I'm excited to work with Jacob because I've never seen him work. I finally get to see him. I've never been on a team with him. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Jacob was counting stacks of money, and he's This fifty, this fifty, that had forty nine. Some of them had thirty eight. Mm-hmm. What the hell? You're back. Oh, I noticed that some of them had forty nine. Some of them had fifty two. Some of them had fifty one. And, and for me, was I was like, like, "Girl, I mean, I would have had forty nine and fifty one too." It's late at right, night, and then he's counting really, really quickly. I I couldn't tell, and, and I, I remember I texted Pharaoh. I was like, "Can we trust?" Like their perspective, kind of like. It, oh, it, this is why you texted me that. Yeah, like is she actually like like I don't know like like what do we know? Because she's saying she's you know very confidently saying he's miscounting in front of my face, like he's purposely mm-hmm. doing it, and it's like, girl, is he just fucking up? Because like like, like you said, like, I would have fucked it's up. It's so easy to not count fifty. Fifty is a long number, like. I don't know, but she my said that is, he was doing it on purpose. And that's thing when she said, "I'm just gonna recount this," I'm like. My and then Jacob was us saying he looked at the diary who was like, I don't think anyone is the Moana group. Yeah, no Mo activity. Like, girl, she's literally recounting every stack you do. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Time to be more aware, Jacob. Who? So back at the gold team, they're sorting through keys and they're finally um unlock unlocking the safety deposit box. Mind you, and they're finding no gold. Barely any help from Kasi. Kasi is doing what? literally nothing. She just flipping, nothing. Well, flipping through the pages. Girl, come on. I don't know. I mean, I just have the names. And Literally. Kind, and I, and like, me, what kind of names do you have? It has to be a specific name. Are they highlighted? Well, I, didn't, uh, I, I heard her say one name. That was it. Other than that, literally. they were just getting random ass boxes while she was just flipping the pages. Flipping the pages. <laughs> and, and it's, it's like, like it's girl. giving mo. It's giving mo. Now, that's the thing. I will say, I mo. felt like she was potentially the mo up until this point because I feel like it was so obvious, but at the same time, it was just like, She's still just, I don't know, like something about Kasi makes me feel like she's definitely giving more. Mm-hmm. She definitely is a little bit child. We go back to the cash team and they're trying to still count money. And this one is hard because I, I honestly just probably would have just felt like there's no way we're going to be able to count. Like this is too much brain power. 10,000. Like, and like I said, the human error factor, like 10,000 exactly. Exactly. Like that was not, they could have at least had like, um, it, it, with the era of twenty dollars or something, they still got it, but that was crazy. So, um, they're trying to communicate over the line, and um, Pranav is like, "Okay, you're counting out five hundred thousand dollars stacks, right? Because each of those five hundred thousand dollars stacks equals fifty dollars in America." And um, Sandy's like, "Okay, yes," and he's like, "Just to clarify, it's five hundred thousand dollars." And she's like, "Oh shit, I thought you said fifty thousand dollars." <laughs> it was like, "No, it was five hundred thousand." And it's like that communication is understandable because. 
she's trying to listen to him, but she's also literally counting. And that, that's another thing I realized. They were doing a lot of talking while counting, and then while he was talking into her ear, she was counting. It's like if mm-hmm. someone was talking to me while I was counting money, I would have to yeah. restart ten times. I'm literally. skipping over something. Literally, they played in their faces, and the thing is, like they played in the gold team's face too. But we're gonna get into it. <laughs> and Pranav, <laughs> no, literally, Pranav was like, either that was a mistake or Sandy sabotaging girl. It was a mistake. Um, like it was a mistake. Please, it was a girl. mistake. So at the gold team, they are literally struggling. No help from Kasi. Ka- Kasi is up there, no not help saying shit. And Graham keeps saying, "I mean, we need a, we need a, uh, we need some more names. We need some order. Like, we just can't be doing this random shit. Like, come on." And Something. he was like, "Kasi is a software engineer. Like, she's looking at logs all day. Why can't she do this?" Mm-hmm. And it's at like, at this point, they have hella safety deposit boxes out on the desk. Like, damn, no there, money. everyone open looks like they have not opened up any gold. No gold. Nothing. Back at the cash team, they finally start packing up the money. So they say they're ready, they're done. They get their money packed up, and the time is running out. So the time is up, and they pull up back to the pub, and all of them are there gathered up. And we don't know if the cash team won, but we know the gold team did not, in fact. <laughs> did not win at all. So Alex pulls up. She's like, let's start with the gold team. What happened, y'all? She's and so hilarious. <laughs> be for real, Alex. <laughs> Please be for real. And so Casey speaks up and she's like, there just had to be some paperwork that we were missing Ooh. because it just wasn't making sense. Gag Kasi right there, sense. right in her face. It and is like Kasi was going back and forth and she heard that she was like, oh. Mm-hmm. And she had to stop real quick. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yeah, girl, she clocking you real nasty. So Ale- here go Alex. And it's like, girl, be for real. But Alex was like, there were actually gold related names. And it's like, on the sheet. And it's like, no, there weren't. Why no, there is she weren't. gagging? This bitch had G lock, his... as in Goldie Lock. Who's gonna K- say that? K Midas, as in King Midas. El Dorado. Now, I love El Dorado. I love the movie. I wouldn't have thought the letter L Dorado meant anything. Like, and I literally have written down now who would have got that in B series. And then literally, he go, Will, well, if, if she literally, if she had said El Dorado, I would have, nigga, shut up, would you? For real. And that would have been one lockbox. Be serious. And, and, and Kasi was like, honestly, if I saw El Dorado, I probably wouldn't have even thought of anything of it. Yeah, because no, no, the, the letter G-Lox, L. The G Locks. Oh, like, even if I saw G Locks, I probably wouldn't have thought Goldilocks. Who the fuck thinks G- Goldilocks from G Locks? No one thinks that. And I definitely, like, even if I did, like, gold, like, that's such a reach. I have to find gold. G lock, Goldie lock. I think the competitions are a little too hard, or they don't have enough clues because even the last competition, they had to tell them it's in the periodic table. Like, a lot of these times they have it, they're giving shit away. Mm-hmm. And it's like, these need to I be just feel like these probable. questions was way too hard. Does the average person know any of this? G, K minus G. Mm-hmm. Like, let's say, I, I don't know Eldorado or King Midas. I mm-hmm. know Goldilocks, and I still wouldn't have got G Lock. They could have at least put on that page, like at the beginning of the page, at the front. They could have been like, some of these names might have meaning, and then you have to flip through the page. Like, give her uh, something. They didn't give her anything but the paper. Like, but it was through. mentioned because they they was mentioning like, oh, like critical thinking. Like, you have to pick the best critical thinking. Is that That's like true. the definition of critical thinking? Like thinking outside the box, essentially. Yes, but what Pranav was doing wasn't that so. Yeah. And that's what the, but I was saying. How the I fuck is I get like this? Like, that's, the, that's the thing. Like, G Locks, K Midas, El Dorado. That's not even outside I, the box. I that's was like, thinking if I was Pranav, I would have tried to stick with one currency if I could. Because, yeah, it seemed like he was doing a lot like, mm-hmm. at one time, or like, yeah, it, 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 he kept going back and forth. It, it was a lot. Mm-hmm. So, after this, we ask about the cash team. She's like, um, how did y'all do? Sandy was like, I think we all work together pretty good. I mean, I'm fairly confident with the fact that it might, that we might have the right amount, but it's like, y'all have to have the exact right amount. Be yeah. real. Um, Avery says, I have knowledge that no one does. And that's that Jacob was not actually counting the money right. And honestly, Avery, I think this is a misread. If Avery goes home, it's probably because she think it was Jacob and it wasn't Jacob. I could see Jacob being it. But honestly, even in this moment, I don't know if that was Jacob purposely being... I don't know. Uh, it's not giving mold to me, but we'll see. It, it really doesn't. It will see, child. Um, but now, like, the more shit Jacob does, the more I'm like, maybe... She's well, gonna... I feel like in this last... It, it didn't give that in this, in this upcoming one at all. Maybe he... More, more joy again. It did. <laughs> but maybe he's like, he... Oh, no, it's not giving it. So... This leads into episode five. It's a cliffhanger. We don't know whether the cash team got their money or not. Mm-hmm. So 
we enter episode five and um, Alex very dramatically tells them that they did not achieve this hard ass goal. Um, so they do not have ten thousand. They, they were, were over 600. by like hundred some over. Yeah, like you guys were around seven hundred dollars no. over. And, and it's like, girl, be for real. She's so dramatic because she's like ten thousand. <laughs> Six hundred and seventy-eight dollars and seventy-five. <laughs> that is the dramatic pauses we send in me. <laughs> Literally hilarious. So the prize pot um is still at three thousand. <laughs> that is so embarrassing. And we're on episode five, y'all. Like it's it's sad. The, se- it's, the season is literally halfway over. Literally halfway over, and they have three thousand dollars, babe. That's my paycheck. Like, I don't know. Like, please. Like, that's a week of work. That's a week of work. So, uh, I'm sorry for laughing at them. Like, we it's get to really elimination. Bad. We get to the elimination. Will says the that quiz. Kati, the quiz. Will says that Kati <laughs> consistently puts herself in positions to sabotage, to be able to sabotage this shit. So he just don't know if you trust that or not or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the quiz, we hear that Pranav is a little bit suspicious of Sandy. He says that Sandy's creeping up on his list. Um, or whatever, so he's probably going to be writing Sandy's ne- name down. Sandy says <laughs> Pranav is on her list um, because of what was the going conversion. on. The, the yeah. conversion for the um, money. But it's like, girl, be for real. Um, clearly, Sandy didn't know what I just she think was thinking. It, I, I don't know if they're going into the test like this, but like, I just feel like it's still too early to be having your head on one per- ha- hanging your hat on one specific person. Exactly. And I think that's what she did, and that was probably her mistake. Um, Will says he tries to break his answers up to, to three players all the time, and he says Kasi is going to be one of those players he's breaking up into. Avery says she usually does majority rule, and I someone commented and explained to us what majority rule really means, because mm-hmm. I did not know. Um, and majority, really, majority rule means that of the people in the game, which answers applies to the majority of those people? Um, so, for example, if it's like, is the mole a girl or a boy? If there's more girls in the game, you vote a girl. If and that makes the, sense. It makes sense. And they say it works well for the earlier rounds. So Avery says that she's going to use majority role, but also answer Jacob um, for her final answer of who you think the mole is. So um, I was like, okay, that's interesting. I think that can only work up to a certain point. Um, yeah, definitely. So I feel like after this round, I don't think I would do that again. I would try to narrow it down just a little bit more. Um, so there's that. So Alex gives them the results. Um, when Greg sees that Kasi is safe, he says he feels like he's on the right track because he thinks Kasi is the mole. And so Kasi being safe means that she can still be the mole. Mm-hmm. So he thinks he's on the right track. And then we see that Sandy gets eliminated. <laughs> and it's like Damn. that Dom karma spot right on her. So the Sandy, nasty. Thought, Sandy thought it was Pranav, and it's like, girl, be for real. It, it's Pranav so is funny. like the Dom of the new Dom at this point. He's the main one trying to win money, like literally. Me. But it, it's so funny because she literally strategized Dom's fate out of the game. Like she really ate that up just to go home next. Mm-hmm. Like and that is that's really crazy how this show is. Like it doesn't matter how big of a character you are, what move you make. I feel like to try and get yourself ahead. Like if you fail the quiz, you fail the quiz, mm-hmm. and there's nothing Literally. you can do about that. And it's like wow. Literally. So Sandy gets Sandy gets walk of shamed. Um, she's like, I'm going out with my head held high. I love that from her. Um, and Pranav said he's starting to feel uneasy because he was guessing Sandy, and that means he was guessing wrong. So. Um, he says, even though I've been spreading my answers out, Sandy was one of the people I was focused on, so I need to try to shift my focus. Avery says she's not going to tell anybody about the Jacob thing, and it's like, girl, we get it. You clock. Like, please be for real. Um, and this is when they start pulling up to the next section. So mm-hmm. they're pulling up on, like, a foresty kind of place. It's, it's called Gimpy, green. Australia. Um, and they're in Gimpy, Australia. Jacob says that, while he's in the car, Jacob says that a lot of players are starting to let their guard down. But everybody has a tell. And he says, for example, Joy is always lying. And it's like, damn. <laughs> and it's like, I really like she probably is. <laughs> Literally. No, he got her clocked down. Um, so Pranav says the good thing about Sandy going is that his mole suspicion can be narrowed down. So that's really good. And this is when they pull up to a train station. Yep. So Alex walks up. She says that this is going to be about mail delivery. 
mail can be delivered in so many different ways and we de deliver mail all the time and whoop, whoop, whoop. So she explains the competition is that you're going to be set up into three groups. You are going to be uh, separated into three groups. It is going to be the train group, the car group, and the foot group. Mm -hmm. So you are each going to have to deliver mail in different manners. So one group is going to deliver it by the train. One group is going to deliver it by the car. One group is going to deliver it by the foot. The food. By the foot. <laughs> <laughs> so... Jacob says he's not a fan of trains, but he's a firefighter, so he might have to do it, but he does not end up doing it, so it doesn't matter. Greg, because Will, daddy said, it won't be you. Fuck. Will got his way once again. Greg says he doesn't want to uh, choose anything because he wants to see how people choose him, but he low-key wants to just do the train. Um, <laughs> so each team has to deliver the mail, but the foot team and the car team have to get to the train station before the train does. And it's like they just Jeremy gotta give them an extra, an extra, like they be giving Girl, them something. They be clipping them left and right. Like mm -hmm. my thing is, like I, I really question, like are these uh, competitions like uh, tested by people, like control groups? Because this shit seems who can do really this? hard. And who can do this? So they decided um, to split it up three, three, two. They put two people on the car. Hindsight, they should have just put two people on foot. Because if two people was on foot, then they probably could have. Oh well, foot team made it. Well, anyway. I will say the way they did it, they was like, Never we mind. have to do three, three, and two. So maybe they, maybe they. Thought but why they add an extra person on foot if you had? That's to that's true. Regardless, foot. that's true. Yeah. Yeah, they should have just did one person on foot. Really, like, and if they don't make it, they don't make it. Should have put Will. Well, one is risky because yeah, one could just be the mole. But they should put two. Will and Pradab move along. So. They decide to split three, three, two. They put two in the car. That's Joy and Jacob. They put three on foot. That's Pranav, Will, and Avery. And then on the train is going to be Kasi, Casey, and Greg. So there's mm -hmm. that. Uh, Jacob says he's glad he's with Joy because he can keep her eye on her because he's like, she might be the mole, but he doesn't know. And, mm -hmm. and it's like, Joy's not the mole. <laughs> it's like, at this, like y'all cannot be thinking this girl's the mole at this point. Like, I just feel like there's no way. At this point, mm -hmm. she don't care at this point. She's letting y'all know. Mm-hmm. So each one of these tasks has a specific thing that's making it hard. So what's hard for the train team is that the bags will be um, outside hanging across the train track and you have to reach out a hook so that you can hook the bags and then get the bags inside of the train for you to achieve those. So they start doing that and Greg at first has the hook, um, is the designated hooker. So he gets... <laughs> <laughs> so he gets the first bag and then he's like Kasi should go for the second bag he says I want Kasi to go for the second bag because if she doesn't get it then I know that this, that she's low key probably playing in my face so let's see like, well. <laughs> if Kasi gets it um, and then we talk, we pause there and we go to the foot team so Pranav, Will, and Avery are running and we find out they have to run seven miles seven fucking miles in 90 minutes y'all before a train Surprisingly, they do it before the people in the car, which is crazy. Uh, <laughs> so what's um that's what's hard about their challenge. The packages aren't that hard to find, but um they just have to do the seven mile ass trek. Um, but we Avery, get, like mm -hmm. oh, I was just gonna say like Pranav, he starts clocking his little song to Avery, like uh -huh. you know he, he's seeing that she's probably being more strategic and is trying to play up some things to try and see like she is the mole. Mm -hmm. So Avery's allegedly getting tired, and Pranav's like. Avery, now is not the time. If you're doing your little hoopla shit, now is not the time. This to do ain't that it. Shit. Like, please. I, honestly, real. I think she was just tired. Because seven I miles. Tired. Once I heard seven miles, I'd be tired. Because I was like, when they put the when they put a uh, a girl in, I was like, why would they put a girl on the team? Because like you know, running seven miles is crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, and Avery, was unless you were like that, that thing, that's like Will, Christmas Will and Pranav was like pushing ahead. But I, I, like, it's just like, child, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't think I don't think Avery does running much. Like I feel like. Yeah, that seems it. pretty athletic. That's true. I probably would have her out there running or something. Cause, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just two people. Because just two people. I don't know. So the car team is Jacob and Joy. And if y'all know, Joy is trying her hardest to seem like the mole, apparently. <laughs> because damn. So they <laughs> have the hardest packages to find, I will say. But um, they're driving. And, and you have the up. worst person on the map. <laughs> you have the worst person. <laughs> the worst they, navigator they, they pilot. No. They know she can't read no damn map because look what she did the first episode. But she's a pilot. A pilot, not a car pilot. She's a plane pilot. 
Oh, but one there. challenge she can do in the sky, she didn't want to do. That's true. Then why are you useful? <laughs> so, chaos, Joy is here to cause chaos and chaos only. That's true. Like she mold. may not be the mole, but she could be a saboteur. <laughs> <laughs> so they pass up the first, uh, the first location, and Joy added like it seems like they're miles away. And Joy's like, "Oh wait, it's giving we passed it." Like, go back. I think and we I, should go back. And then the thing about Joy is that she has no sense of urgency. It's not <gasps> go back. It's I think we should go back. <laughs> like, girl. So they have to go not, and it's not just a cute little back. They have to go all the way back to the start. Yes, Mind like they, you, the train like they are moving. So they kind of show the map, and they were way ahead. They had to go, like you said, all the way back to the start. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, and then Jacob even said, "Enjoy messing up on a map again." But it's like, honestly, y'all set yourself up, you like, because y'all mentioned it before. You could have at least had Joy drive. Like, I don't know, like something, something. So on the train team. Um, Kasi is the designator grab getter, bag getter for this round. So Kasi is out, hook, hook out, hook ready. And Greg has a diary. He's like, she should definitely get it. She has long arms, long eggs, long legs, strong core. Long torso, strong core. So there should be no reason for her to not get this bag, but we'll see. So we pull up to the bag. Girl, Kasi drops the bag. <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> I, if Kasi's the mole, it makes so much sense. It really but, didn't seem like she tried right there, to be honest. It just does, it's, she just was not trying. Yeah, with a smile on her face, too. Oh! <laughs> and then they were like, get it, get it, Greg, get it. It's on the ground. It's literally on the ground. How he gonna get it? So they it, lost Because it would have been better if she just missed it and, like, she didn't hook it off. She hooked it off and it fell on the ground. How'd that happen? Girl, we moved, though. So, so they lost 2K right there. They lost $2,000 right there. So we're back to the foot team and they're running and they get their second bag. And honestly, at this point, I would be tired as fuck too. The fact that Avery's even still going is okay. It's, yeah. But and uh, then uh, Pranav and Will are just trucking ahead. I mean, they're ahead, really girl. running like they're professional track stars. They're uh, gone. And it's like, what the hell? They're like, we don't have time. We don't have. And Pranav is really the one running. He's next to Will. Come on, big man. You My, got it. Once again, in his Sunday's best, bitch, running. In his best. Like, Pranav is trying to get that money. I love Pranav. And you know this he is works. around this is around the time that I started thinking like who would be on All Stars if we have an All Stars like Pranav, Will, Avery, Joy. It's giving like you know they're kind of icons. Like I don't know. Like I, I can like, see I anybody. Do, like, they're pretty like, dynamic. Like they're pretty dynamic. Like come on. So we go back to the train team, um, and they said Cassie get in. Cassie, Cassie get in the back. Um, and Greg is now going to be the designated bag getter. Um, he goes ahead and gets the next bag. So they have their two, what is that? $4,000 and they're headed, they're headed home. So we go back to going on foot. Pranab is moving down. They finally get to their third package and they pull up on some bikes. And apparently they now get to ride the bikes to the end of the road, mm-hmm. the end of the location. So but they, have they might be able to make thousand, but they have to spend $2,000 to do that. And at first they were like, no, I think Pranab was like, we should just run it. It's one mile. And she was like, no. Mm-mm. No, we're not running a mile. Get on the motherfucking bikes. Like, be serious. So, um, I think if they, they would have, honestly, if they would have uh, uh, ran, they wouldn't have made it. They, they would not have made it. made it. So, that was a good decision. So, in the car, they're finally headed to the second box. Here goes and Joy. Joy. Mm, I think, I, I, I I think, think we just I passed, think it. passed it. To be fair, uh, Jacob, when they went past one of the campers, he was like, is that it? Yeah. And then, you know, Joy and then did not talk. Probably not, no. Then it's like, um, let's and investigate. And did not stop. So, um, finally, they see the third mailbox. And they pass the third mailbox, too. And, and then Joy's like, I think that was just the third mailbox that they passed. Mm-hmm. And it seems like they've gotten so far away because by the time they decide to turn back and try to get the third mailbox... They were um, and that so was the it should have been that a quick a decision. decision. They were yeah. like deciding on whether they should or not. And at first, they were basically like, "Should we just go back with one?" And it's like, "Go back with one." That's kind of embarrassing. I would not want to go back with one either. Mm-hmm. But like, child, they should have just went back with one. So they decide to go back and try to get the other the other um, mailbox, and it seems so far away. So they're driving all the way back there um, to get it. And now it's a race to the train. So everyone's trying to get to the train. We have to make sure the foot team gets um, to the train station first. They see the train coming up. We see Jacob and Joy trying to drive all the way back to the train. Um, and at the end of it, the foot team makes it. Um, and, of course, the train team makes it. And Joy and Jacob <laughs> Once again, another 
challenge where Joy is somewhere and they lose. It's and like lose. it does not because everyone has had like their chance to kind of shine or or succeed except mm-hmm. Joy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Joy has flopped in everyone and then she fucking wasting the money. Like mm-hmm. Joy ain't did shit right. <laughs> At all. And Literally I still nothing. Stand. <laughs> and I, as you should, period. So <laughs> Alex was like, why are y'all late? And Joy was like, well, we made the decision that we should go ahead and and go back try to get one of the um one of the packages. And we was like, well, what happened then? Like, why why didn't y'all do that? And Jacob was like, well, from the outside looking in, I bet it seems easy, but it's not. And we was like, I mean, the outside looking in, I just ran a seven, and you know, Avery and Pranav kind of felt hit by that. No, like, we just ran seven nine miles. We, we just ran seven miles. You know why Avery went on foot? Because Pranav was going on foot. Why are they so much in lockstep? They That's have true. to be with each other. They are. I mean, I don't like, you know, let me not ship nobody, but <laughs> um, Pranavri sounds Pranavri. Pranavri sounds real nice. Um, even off. Uh so they have earned fourteen thousand five hundred dollars in their it's like finally some money. Finally, honey. money, girl. I've been waiting. So Pranav says if Avery is the most she could have been sabotaging this round. So there's that. So they get to um the new quiz, the elimination quiz. Mm-hmm. And when they pull up. They see some explosives at the table. And mind you, Alex has said, this is going to be an explosive elimination, you guys. <laughs> so they see some explosives on the table. So Alex starts speaking on the speaker. They all sit around the table in their designated spot. And she says, before elimination, don't move. Because two people just sat on a detonator. So <gasps> let me explain this. <laughs> because this was kind of a little bit difficult to explain. I'm not going to Yeah, Cheryl got it, y'all, because when I tell you I was confused Whew. as fuck, I think it's the dramatic pause that she'd be taking, too. Girl, just get it out. Okay, y'all. If you didn't understand, I'm going to try to explain. So, they're all sitting around the table. Two of them are sitting on bombs. The goal of the game is to make sure that at least one of the people sitting on a bomb is there after the game is finished. What the game is, is that after each round of food, you will be voting two people off of the table. So let's say hypothetically, they vote off the two people with the detonators. Uh, the bomb will explode and nothing matters. Nobody gets anything. As long as one of the people who are on the bomb is there at the end, the person there with them will be get the chance to be exempt or the chance to get the money. Mm-hmm. So for the prize pot, right? For the prize pot. The $15,000 for the prize pot. And this is still confusing even when I'm explaining. Um, so the point is, they're going to give them food. So they hand them out the first pot. It's a, it's a pot And just know, when food. Joy heard exemption, mother was ready. <laughs> she woke up. Because <laughs> what so, thing Joy go get is exemption. Period. <laughs> so, oh, Joy ate this up. Oh, they're all, all handed out, out pie pies. And or this, something. this 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 whole next scene is why I have to stand joy. Like I, I have, have to. to. <laughs> I just have to. So they're handed out prize pots or, or pot pies. And apparently, or whatever the fuck it is, they're handed out. I don't know what it is. And apparently, two of them have normal food because they are on the detonators. The ones with the detonators are gonna get more normal food this whole time. Everyone else has wasabi. So hot the, wasabi bitch. Hot wasabi bitch. The goal is to pretend you have normal food because if you have the normal food, you won't be voted out because people think you're on the detonator and we need you to be on the detonator to win the money. So everyone is going to pretend to have normal food because if they're there at the end of the game, they can have the chance at exemption. Mm-hmm. So everyone is pretending to have normal food. However, most of them have wasabi bitch. So they're all eating. And at first, they're doing decently good. And then we see Casey. She's like, Pranav, it looks like you're tearing up a bit. And as she says that, she starts coughing, bitch. <laughs> and then she literally turns <laughs> all the starts, way red. And she gives up after the one cough. She, she, like, well, she was red. She was crying. She was like, damn, I was doing so good. Too. Y'all got me. She should not have talked. I was like, a, uh, pepper, a pepper flew up or something and got up. No, literally. <laughs> so they do their vote, and they vote out. Casey and Pranav because clearly they got clocked by not having the um, normal food. So both mm-hmm. of them are out and then we get the next round. So on the next round, they get a cup of 
apple cider vinegar or beer. So <laughs> the, um, and the this... people with this <laughs> eight, so the people with the detonators have beer, and everyone else has apple cider vinegar. So Joy um, has a die room, and she says, "I have a great poker face." Um, I love beer. I actually like beer. So, so she takes, so she picks the beer up, which is spoiler alert, apple cider vinegar. She drinks it, and she goes, mm-hmm. mm, "I love beer." <laughs> Imagine the people around her throwing up, coughing, literally dying because it's apple cider vinegar. And, mm, I love beer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Period. She said, like, "I'm coming for that exemption." Girl, so uh, what's that man? Will tried to get them all to jug it. I'm jug it, jug it. I'm thinking, are you trying to kill them? Like, Ooh. literally. Um, so Greg starts coughing up, crying, and throwing up at the same time. So they knew it wasn't Greg. So Greg and Avery end up getting voted out at this round. So at this point, the people left are Will, Joy, Tasi, and Jacob. Mm-hmm. Two of them have a detonator. Two of them are lying. They ass off. <laughs> so um, the next one is uh dessert. Some kind dessert. of dessert. It's some dessert. And for the, you know, the normal people, the normal people, the people who sitting on detonators, they have like a, some type of like fudge cake, something, some type of pie, something. Some fudge but, pie shit. But the non-detonator people, they have it laced with chili pepper. It's the same thing, but it's laced with chili pepper. Girl, the way Joy is acting mm. down. Wow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then she, she looks over at Jacob and she's like, Jacob, it looks like it's hot over there. <laughs> like, oh my God, she was clocking. And then she was like, Kasi, I don't know, you're looking a little. And Kasi was like, Am I? And she's like, You are. You look like you're tearing up, Kasi. So they get they do their votes. And Kasi and Jacob are voted out of this round. And when Jacob stands up, we see that he does not have a detonator. And when Kasi stands up, she was on a detonator. And it's like, girl, Kasi, why are you so damn obvious? <laughs> <laughs> like, how obvious about what? She didn't even have it. That's, the, that's the gag. But she just gets, I, I think she's the bow. So I just get <laughs> suspicious. She's just suspicious naturally. I think this kind of proves to me that maybe she's just suspicious naturally because how you get caught and you don't even have it. Like, damn. So you were um, eating good the whole time. It's just Joy and Will left. And of course, they each know that now Joy did not. Um, have a detonator. And Will is gag. He's like, Will is was bluffing down. the whole time. And he, he like high fives her because he knows like, Cause he's right. right next to her while she's like, mm. mm-hmm. I love beer. I put mm-hmm. vinegar and chili powder, bitch. She's like, she, mm-hmm. y'all not fucking with Joy. <laughs> Joy ate that shit the fuck up. So they said that someone has to stand up and um, open these two plates up. And so Joy, Joy looks at what she says. Oh, well. I, have to, I have to stand up, Will. <laughs> She's like, that was iconic. That was iconic. So she stands up. She goes over to the platters that they are given, and she opens the first one. She starts reading it aloud. She says, um, here is the pliers. You must cut the red wire, and you will achieve the $15,000 in your pot. <laughs> she opens up the second one, and she says, you may choose to... <laughs> And Will was like, "Don't stop reading now." No, and no, she she no, doesn't no. she doesn't bat an eye. He says, "Don't stop reading now," and she continues. To she continues to read, to read it and she silently has all the information when she, she, when she has. finishes. She starts reading, and she reads out that um, instead you can take this, you can let the timer run out, and you will be exempt from elimination, and you will not win the fifteen thousand dollars. No, fifteen thousand dollars will be taken out, right? Yeah, and then you'll get the exemption pass. My when, job when the clock runs out, it's on three minutes. If you hold the exemption pass, you're exempt. If you cut the wire before, the 15000 is added to the prize pot. But, oh, okay. So, um, oh, we end it there. She yeah. reads that, and we end the episode. We kind of They kind of leave it on her deciding. Literally, from what I can see, the clock is on the 32nd line, and she says to, um, she says to Will, like, you know, I think she says, I'm selfish, or I'm trying to go for the win. Yeah, she says something you know like selfish. that. So it gives like, is she gonna take it? Is she not? I know because I watched the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not gonna say this on this party. We're gonna save yeah. that for the next three episodes that we'll be dropping on Monday. Be on the lookout for her. Mwah, maybe tomorrow if we're feeling froggy. Who knows? Um, make sure y'all check out the other shit we be doing. We be doing the amazing race. We be doing the challenge thirty eight. We be doing Survivor or whatever. Girl, go ahead and give that a listen. Look, give that a look. Give that a gag. 
Mm -hmm. um, we will be continuing to cover in the rest of the mole series. So check out those videos whenever they pop up or whatever. Thank you so for, so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment. Bitch, I'm tired. Do all of that. Mwah. Do all of that. Mm -hmm. Bye. I understand. I understand. You ain't the man. You ain't the man. Hound dog. Hound dog. We're never going to end. Dog.